Straight from the Amazon jungle, Jack Hanna is here to celebrate his award-winning book, Passport Into the Wild. And Jack didn't come alone. Because he's brought some of the scariest. <laughs> Why is he looking at me? Some of the youngest. It's a baby lion. I haven't held a baby in 15 years. Oh, that's so cute. And some of the strangest animals from the entire wild kingdom. That's the strangest turtle I've ever seen. Jack's also being joined by a giant python snake named Fluffy. Here, Maury, hold it. I'm not holding it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not joking. An out of control kangaroo. An extremely rare jaguar. Greatest crushing power of any cat in the world is Jaws. That's a gorgeous cat, isn't it? And a Borneo pig named Edgar, who won't listen to anyone. Yes. Uh, 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 don't let anybody bite you, more. Edgar, don't mess with me, buddy. Edgar, Edgar don't, don't go, go down Edgar. there. Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> Edgar, be nice. Edgar. Plus, it's the attack of the armadillos. <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what they... That's what they it's an hour filled with wild animals. Flapping its wings. That's yeah. called baiting by Exotic animals. And the one and only Jungle Jack Hanna. And it all starts right now. All right, here we go. All right, spring is in the air. The weather's getting warmer. The flowers are in bloom. We're pulling out all the stops because today we are going to bring you the most exciting, the most terrifying, and the most beautiful animals on the planet. And there's only one man who can bring these exotic animals to us, the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo, the host of the television series, Jack Hanna's Into the Wild. Everybody, give it up, Jack Hanna! Here's my guy. Here's my Montana neighbor. Okay, so, look, I want to catch up. Where have you been? We just got back from the Amazon, Maury. We're 300 miles up the Amazon, everybody. I've, always, I've been to Amazon before. We're not 300 miles up there. It's the most phenomenal things I've ever seen in my entire life. It's the fastest moving river in the world. I've been talking like it gets... When we talk about fast, what are we talking We're about? We're talking 20, 30 miles an hour. The river just changes daily. We saw the, the pink river dolphin. Very few in the world. The only place they live is this one tributary. The giant river otter, which is as tall as you are. Picture a little otter, as big as Maury. Anacondas, 15 to 22 feet long. You wouldn't have believed these. I should have brought 22 one. Twenty-two foot snakes. Oh yeah, yeah, anaconda. Yeah. Oh my. They God. love blue too. They love. Oh blue. no, no. Okay. So anyway, first up, I mean, and this is amazing. Jack has brought a very unlikely pair. We're gonna bring out probably two animals you think wouldn't ever work together: a cat and a dog. <laughs> well, well, that's that's like a lab, right? Exactly. This is a lab. And what you see here, everyone, I want everybody to look at this very closely. These are two cheetahs. What you're looking at, everybody, are two of the, this is the fastest land mammal in the world. Maury knows, I'm sure. The cheetahs clocked at 72 to 75 miles an hour. Now, why is the dog here? Right. I've raised cheetahs both ways. I've raised them without dogs and with a puppy. And the nice thing about raising them with the puppy, cheetahs by nature are very skittish cats. And if we See, raise him with the puppy, the puppy gives them the confidence that they need. They don't realize he's a puppy. They, they think, think it's a cheetah. Yeah, exactly. They think he's one of their litter mates. If you look at the cheetah's foot, it's the only cat in the world with non-retractable claws. The only cat in the world with non-retractable claws. Your cat at home can retract his claws. That's for speed. Look at the eyes, everybody. Look at the eyes. Why are those dark marks under the eyes? Maury knows baseball players, football players put chalk under it, right? Because they look at the lights like this. The cheetah hunts at 110 degrees in the daytime. No cat in the world, jaguars, uh, uh, tigers, lions, they hunt at night. The cheetah hunts in the daytime. They're a solitary cat, and guess what they do? They, they, they don't make their kill by just a, like an explosion like a tiger. When they hit their prey, they have to grab the throat, the esophagus. They call it a chokehold. 70% of the animals more get away from the cheetah. And the cheetah, a lot of cheetahs starve to death. This is one of the rarest animals. By the way, the wilds is we have 10,000 acres next to the Columbus Zoo. 10,000 acres where we now have had nine babies born this year. Make sure you hear about it. Look it up on the web. It's incredible. Terrific. Thank you so much. <laughs> he got his camera. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Look at that. Look at that cheetah, look. Wow. Well. And now, of course, anybody who has ever watched, anybody who's ever watched The Wizard of Oz knows that there is a certain animal that is known for its courage. It's a baby lion. And that's who we have here. This is an African lion. 
All right, it's only about, uh, this cat's probably about a year old. The cat is called the king of beasts, everyone, the king of beasts. It's an incredible creature. They're social, whereas a tiger and a cheetah are not social. This is a very social cat. They sleep about 20 hours a day. The rest of the day is either spent breeding or eating or, or trying to find, find their prey at night times when they hunt. They're a beautiful creature. This is a gorgeous one, isn't it? Isn't just it? beautiful. Just great. Just now, beautiful. what's the difference about the big? Is that the... The, the male has the big the, mane. With the mane. Right. The male has the mane. The female does not have the mane. The feet, you can see how big the feet are now. You can imagine. When the females make the kill, they make it with other, other animals as well. They always hunt. They usually hunt in a pride. When one stakes itself over here, one's over here, and they hunt as a team. It's amazing to watch a lion, lions on a hunt. They work as a team, not necessarily solitarily. Thank you very much. We'll right. we, we real quiet here. We'll take yeah. him off. Okay, we're going to take him off. Right. Now, th this next animal is one of the rarest on Earth, and it is another endangered species. Yep. And it is uh, known for its color, and it's called a lemur. The lemur. This is a lemur, everybody. Now, a lot of you are sitting there going, oh, this is Sean Rehab from the Columbus Zoo. Hi, Sean. Here you How go. are you? Nice you to see you. See you. Okay. You're going to keep like that. Look, look. Huh? Oh, want me to hold it? Okay. Yeah, you, no, you hold it. You, you hold it. it. No, I'll let you okay, hold it. Okay, you hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get bit by the lemur. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> but the anyway. lemur is from Madagascar. It's yep. not from Africa, right? Right, exactly. The island of Madagascar, everyone, is about, is out in the Indian Ocean, about a thousand miles off the coast of Kenya, all right? It's a very, it's a pretty large island. Guess what? This is the only place in the world the lemur lives. I was telling Maury earlier. There used to be about 60 different types of lemurs, 60. Today we're down to 26. This animal was hunted for its coat. I'll let Maury just touch his coat there a second. It was hunted for its coat. It's like chinchilla oh, wow. fur. The animal was also Soft. eaten at that time. Today, that's not the point. This is a lemur. This is a red rough lemur, one of the largest lemurs in the world. There's some lemurs you can put in the palm of your hand. Again, they're social, 30, 40, 50 animals in a family. They have a bunch of little teeth, big, sharp, white incisors here. They use not just for cracking nuts and fruit, but also to groom each other. Look at the hands of this animal, everybody. Look at the hands. You know what this means? We now know, we now know scientists know that the lemur is called a pre-simian, Maury, a pre-simian. That means that the lemur was on the planet before monkeys and apes. Can you imagine this? Before monkeys and apes, this animal existed here on Earth. They're a phenomenal creature, everyone. And when you see them in the wild, they, they kind of, they're curious. They're not, they don't run like a lot of monkeys might. They're just kind of curious. And they, you, you, you can't approach them real close, but you can tell, watch the, how the family interactions are. Okay. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you so much, much. Columbus it. Zoo. That's Beautiful great. animal. Now. This is something else you don't mess with, because I see them a lot. They're overpopulated in one particular state in our country. In fact, you see them everywhere. Yep. They are alligators, right. everybody. So yep. in Florida, you can see an alligator on just about every golf course. <laughs> Grant's one that... Grant's one of the few people... Oh, no, no, no. Why, why, why isn't there something wrapped around his jaw? No, because Grant's raised this alligator, everybody. Remember, when I was a young man in the 60s, this animal here was on the verge of extinction. And Maury knows about Florida. He plays golf. And this is for any golfers watching. Be careful how you golf. Let me show you something here, especially underwater. Let's see this. He has two eyelids, the alligator. Is that on the camera? Let me try it one more time. The animal, animal's underwater. You think he's sleeping, or you think he might be sleeping on land. He's not sleeping at all. And guess how they hunt more, oh, y'all? They hunt with vibration. For example, if you're in the water kicking or another animal, they can feel their sensors right here, sensors along his side here. Not smell, not eyesight. Their brain is very small. But Steve Irwin, my buddy, taught us a lot about gators and crocodiles. This animal hunts, with, like if you're kicking, they can find the vibration two miles away underwater like a submarine. The crocodile has a much narrower nostril. They are a little bit more aggressive. But remember, you don't have to go to Florida. Oh, my gosh, I can't go swimming because of alligators. They're a beautiful creature, but now they're being hunted again because... There's, they're out of control. Now, they lay eggs, by the way, everyone. They lay about 30 eggs in a nest, like a, like a big old nest of mulch. And they, don't, don't get near them. And, and, right, exactly. And the males and females are determined by the heat of the nest. Isn't that amazing? By the heat of the nest. Uh, they're, they're very unique creatures, as Grant will tell you. They have also, he, I don't even open the mouth right now, but there's a flap back there. You want to try it? Oh, I don't boy. know if he can do it or not, but let's, okay, I don't want to make, uh, I don't make uh, the alligator uh, mad. The, why is he looking at me? Here, I'll help pull his tail. <laughs> Look back in his throat here. I can't see because I'm back here. It's not uh, easy. What he, you see what he's doing? This guy is strong. Can you see down the shoulder, everybody? There's a flap back there. That flap stays shut underwater. Therefore, if a fish or something swims by, he th they think it's a cave. It's not. He goes, bow. He can eat underwater as well. 
That's a great, great. shot there. Thanks Thank so you, Grant, much, so Grant. much. Appreciate that. That's Grant. That's this guy Grant. is a, one Terrific. of the best animal guys in the country right here, buddy. Thank you very much. And we'll have more of Jack Hanna's animals in our spring break special right after this. Coming up, Jack Hanna is going to be joined by some of the strangest animals in the entire wild kingdom. That's what they, that's... Guess what he likes to eat, everybody? Cobras. They love snakes. You're kidding. A giant python snake named Fluffy. Here, Maury, hold it. I'm not holding it. Oh. Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> and a Borneo pig named Edgar, who won't listen to anyone. Uh, 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 Edgar doesn't Don't go, go down Edgar. there. Here, Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> Edgar. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. Okay, everybody. So we're celebrating Jack Hanna with our great spring break here. You, the anno By the way, Jack, that first segment, we've yep. never had that nope. many unbelievable animals nope. in a first segment. After 15 okay. years here. Nope. Here we go. Now, here's a, we've got some more. We want to tell you about the animal we're about to see. I mean, it, it's another animal that's rarely seen during the day. Right now, what's the what's the first word in the dictionary, buddy? Aardvark. Aardvark. I'll be darned. Aardvark. Guess this is the first what? time we've. Ever, that's that's what, what we have. First time aardvark. on the show, right here. We've never had an aardvark. Nope. <laughs> Look at this. I've only seen, I've only seen this one time, everyone. In, in over 25 years of filming in the wild, I've only seen this animal one time. Is that right? Only yes. once? Why is that? Because it's nocturnal, everybody. Aardvark, right? I can't even spell aardvark. <laughs> if you look at this animal, look at those ears. Look at that nose. I mean, there's it's no teeth, strange, right? isn't it? No, there's no teeth. This is Jungle Joe right here, Bucks County. Beautiful zoo there, by the way. There, put, look at that back foot. Look at that back foot, Maury. And they live in these big old, they dig these tunnels in the ground. A lot of times hyenas will come and chase this animal out of his tunnel. Let's hear it for Artie the Aardvark. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, right. I don't know if that's his name. What's his name? Now, so this, name, Arnold. Arnold. this is an interesting, this is an Look interesting this. animal. I love this Aardvark. <laughs> Jack. I don't know what it is about Aardvarks. I'm sorry. I know. Okay. Now there's another animal. You don't see him much. It's not in this country anyway. It's called a bitteron. Look at that. Now look at this. We've never had a big bitteron on the show, everyone. That's a big one. This is, this is how big they get. That animal's fur, if, if more touch this, it's just like a bear. Wiry the back of it. Yes, like a bear's coat, exactly. Oh, it's wiry, hence, yeah. Hence the name bear cat, everybody. Hence the name bear cat, because it's kind of like a cat. You see the claws on this animal. Those claws are very powerful. They can dig open anything. And they live in trees. Yes, they live in trees. You see that tail here? This tail is the strongest prehensile tail of almost any prehensile tailed animal in the world. A What's possum, prehensile mean? Mean like the possum holds oh, its tail. Right. A lot of monkeys have a prehensile tail. This animal has the strongest prehensile tail. But guess what he likes to eat, everybody? Cobras. They love snakes. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The bear it. cat. Oh, yeah, look at those, those whiskers on that thing, too. Thank you. Okay. Maury, Maury, those whiskers are very important, everybody. That allows this animal to hunt in total darkness with those whiskers. There you go. Thank Beautiful. you so much. And now, of course, we've all seen all the great animated films in the world, and there's uh, no reason not to have a penguin on our show. Yep. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. Look everybody, at them. everybody, Maury, Maury, <laughs> everyone, you're, uh, some, some of you, some of you are saying, some of you are saying, I thought they were black and white. You're right. These are only six months old. And you don't need an ice age to have a penguin. Very good, very good question. What Maury just said. There are about 17 species of penguin. Remember this, everyone. If you're on a game show, this could get you a lot of money. There are 17 species of penguin. Your first answer is going to be, Oh my gosh, they all live in cold weather. Guess what? Only five out of 17 live in cold weather. These are called the black-footed penguin, or also the jackass penguin, because they bray like a donkey, and they're from South Africa. However, the show March of the Penguins, you've seen penguins, right, on TV? Sure. Those king and emperor penguins, they can go to 100 to 140 below zero, even though it looks like this animal. And by the way, the penguin has more feathers per square inch than any bird in the world, the penguin does. Okay. Now, what, what hunts these animals here? I have uh, no right. idea. Leopard seals, uh, sharks, uh, 
all sorts of creatures in the ocean. Oh, and the other thing is, tell them how fast they swim. These animals go like a bullet. When we film these underwater, we can't hardly, it's like, a, I, I don't know much about underwater speed. I'm just saying 15, 20 miles an hour. It's, it's like a bullet. You can't even see them go by. And they're monogamous. They mate for life. The female lays the egg, and the male has to sit on it for 40 days while she goes out there and has fun at the sea, and the poor male penguin almost dies taking care of the baby. Let's hear it, ladies. <laughs> there you go. Ah, now we have something from down under. Everybody, welcome. Uh, this is a Parma wallaby. And, and Maury made a good point. Now, what this is, everybody, that Joe has, this is a wallaby. Now, make sure you understand something. A wallaby is a kangaroo. Some people argue that. The people in Australia will tell you that this is a kangaroo. It's a different type of kangaroo. This is one of the smallest wallabies there are, all right? There are different types of wallabies. This animal's full grown. There's even one wallaby, Maury, that you can put right here in your hand that's full grown. Now, what kind of animal is a kangaroo, everybody? Um, a marsupial. Exactly, a marsupial. Do you know what that means? There's another one coming at this, right? Yeah. What's that mean? Has a pouch. Right. Well, it carries we, its young in a pouch. Exactly. I want you to bring out the next animal if they would. I'll okay. bring it back bring there. Bring them now. out now. Wow. Oh, this is for me? Can I take it home? Yeah. Is this the baby or is this the rat? Uh -oh. oh, this is the baby. Oh. Am I losing the belt? Ah. Whoa. What's, oh. oh, I see. I thought somebody's lactating there. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> here, here. Why don't you come and show more how to bottle feed it, Beth? I can't do this. Yeah. I don't. Well, you can hold him. I mean, I haven't. Go fetch the camera there. I haven't held a baby in 15 years. <laughs> now there we go. Oh, that's so cute. I'll be darned. Anyway, what Maury's doing here, everyone? This is a red kangaroo. Everybody here? This red kangaroo can grow to be as big as I am. Get that? What now you, you see what Maury's is? doing. A lot of you are sitting there going, "Why? Why is? Why are we feeding this kangaroo here?" Huh? Guess what? A kangaroo can have three babies at one time. One jumping out of the pouch at six to eight months, leaving this, this one leave the pouch about another two months. Can leave the pouch. When a kangaroo baby's born, it's the size of a jelly bean. It's that big. It comes out of the birth canal, goes on the outside of the stomach, takes one hour for it to crawl and go in the pouch. How does something like a jelly bean know to come out of the birth canal and go up? It's the most amazing birth in nature. It goes in the, it goes in the pouch, attaches to the breast for six months. That's where the baby, that's where the kangaroo lives. And then remember, and then, the, uh, then another one can be born. A kangaroo can have three babies at one time, three different stages of life. Is he all right? Yeah. <laughs> you can take him off. Look at <laughs> everyone. This is. I'm sorry, I forgot. But Grant has here, everybody. It, oh. <laughs> anyway, what Grant has here is a, is a red kangaroo. It's not full grown. This kangaroo standing up is up here. All right. I want you to real quickly look at the camera if you can on the back foot. Look at the back foot here a second, everybody. You see the claw on the back foot? You see that claw? That claw is what, what, what one man in, the, in history has only lost his life to a kangaroo. They kick, they kick with the back foot. They go 30 miles an hour, the kangaroo. But we'll take him home. Let's hear it for our big red kangaroo. All right, thank you. <laughs> Very good. All right, and we'll be back right after this, everybody. Next, Jack Hanna is going to be joined by an extremely rare jaguar. The jaguar has the greatest crushing power of any cat in the world with his jaws. That's a gorgeous cat, isn't it? Isn't that terrific? A giant python snake named Fluffy. Here, Maury, hold it. I'm not holding it. Oh. Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> and a Borneo pig named Edgar, who won't listen to anyone. Yes, well, uh, uh, Edgar, Edgar don't, don't go, go down Edgar. there. Here, Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> Edgar, be nice. Edgar. Edgar. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. All right, so spring is here. We're kicking it off with Jack Hanna, yeah. the host of the television series Into the Wild, author of the children's book <laughs> Passport Into the Wild, and Jack has brought us some of his favorite wild and, and exotic animals, but I want to hear about the book. Well, Passport in the Wild, everyone, is a neat book. It takes you throughout every continent in the world. We have all the seven continents, where all the places I've been, you have a little passport where the kids can put their... It wasn't the best uh, 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 book in, in the educational system throughout the country. So anybody that's in uh, third grade to seventh, eighth grade, 
You'll love it. Passport in the wild. Go Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. By the way, Jack has brought a copy of uh, the book uh, for every single person in the audience. Okay. You'll like that. So they're going to get that. All right. Now, some of these animals can be terrifying, like this latest one. He has never brought this animal. Everybody has to be quiet. This is a jaguar, everybody. Yeah. Shh. Yep. Everyone, this is, I want you to know this. This is a first uh, on the Maury Show. I only think I've had this on one of the, my own show maybe 15 years ago. Be real quiet. This is from South America, everybody. The jaguar, so you know this. Shh. So you know this. The jaguar has the greatest crushing power of any cat in the world with his jaws. Beyond comprehension, the jaguar. They walk with silence. But that is one of the most gorgeous cats in the world. I'm sorry to say they're virtually extinct in the wild now because of loss of their habitat, but mainly people quit hunting. You can see the coat. You can see why their coats are valued about $15,000, $20,000 each. That's a gorgeous cat, isn't it? Isn't that terrific? We won't Thanks clap so her, but we're real Appreciate quiet, it. right? Okay. Shh. All right. Now, just have to take our time here a second. You know, there, there are in this. Shh, come here, kitty, kitty. Woo, woo, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. Let me help you. Nope. I'm good. You got this it. lady. Oh, this wow. beautiful How lady. Can you do that. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to bring something out. Everybody thinks that this uh, next animal is a monkey, but it's not a monkey. It's a kinkajou. It's from Central South America, and not only that, you know, Maury, we just got through. See you, got, you just got through seeing the jaguar, right? This is something that the jaguar would would eat in a split second. He's not after this though, even though I, I've known to eat him all the time. This is an animal, Maury. If you remember back in the, some of you might be a little older here. If you remember back in the 1960s and 50s, a little bit of the 70s, this animal was sold as a pet in a lot of pet shops in this country. It didn't work very well, everybody. Why? It's nocturnal. Number two, it bites. Who would want a nocturnal, a nocturnal <laughs> animal That's who a good bites? Question. That's a good question. But they're, they call it a kinkachu or a honey bear. You see this, Maury? This is one of the few animals in the world that bees cannot penetrate his fur, everybody. Why is that? Because he gets into beehives. What's it, why is it called a honey bear? It loves honey. Oh, it's in the, it's, so he could go into a hive? Exactly, not get stung. And not? No, with that, with that thick fur. So that's a beautiful kinkachu or honey I mean, bear. It's amazing the way they protect themselves. It, it, Every it, single it, it, animal has some kind of defense. It's, it's a, you're exactly right. It's, the, Mother Nature gave them things that none of us could ever duplicate. Thank you. Yep. All right. That's and now this great. next, I've never heard of this. Is it tamandua? Tamandua. I now, have no idea what this is. I've never seen this in no, my life. No, no. Remember when I told you about, the, the, about this animal here, the, the last animal, Kikachu? This animal lives side by side. They don't live together, but they live in the same rainforest in Central and South America. This is a lesser anteater, everyone. The lesser, there's two anteaters, a giant anteater and the lesser anteater. Kind of similar if you know what a land anteater looks like. But the difference is this animal lives his entire life in trees. Again, look at this tail here. A prehensile tail. Remember what I told you? Just like the lad, like a possum. Look at that. Just like a possum's tail. Exactly. This animal also is called the stinker of the forest. Now, oh no, 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 no! It's, it, this one doesn't smell. It's like a skunk, right? It, beyond the skunk, when worse we, than a skunk. Well, it's a different odor, more. It's like a, it's like an odor you've never smelled before. And when we film this animal in the wild, everyone, we don't have to see them. I can smell now that I've been there so much. I can smell the animal and just go right to where the animal is, a mile or two away. Thank you very, very much. Very poor eyesight, Appreciate but good it. hearing. Thank yeah. you so much. For being here. Now, we've had a lot of pigs on the show, but I don't think we've had a Borneo pig. No, no, I've never seen this. <laughs> now, that's a pig. <laughs> now, I'm going to be careful, everybody, because I've never seen everyone. I've never seen a Borneo pig. But what this reminds me of, Maury, and you go, you're in Florida. That reminds me of the, uh, those uh, Russian wild boars in Florida, exactly. right? Yeah. But this is from Borneo. Are you trying to tell me you're calling him by a name? Edgar. Edgar? Edgar's his name, yes. Edgar's his name. It's very appropriate. And for does he family. actually respond? Absolutely. Very intelligent animal. Really? Yes. He knows I've his never name. Seen, I've never seen this before. I'm sorry. This animal, Maury, has turned out to be the nicest animal on the show today. I mean, look at this. <laughs> now, what would he? What would hunt him in the wild? The, uh, the, the cats over there? Like the tigers? Tigers, yeah. Leopards. Tigers, leopards, that kind of thing. And what would be his? Well, I, 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 don't what, let him bite you, Maury. Playing. Oh, oh, he's playing. What, what, because what, they do have teeth, everybody. What would be his defense? His teeth? His Edgar. His what? Tusks. Oh, his tusks. See, this animal will grow tusk, everybody. Edgar, don't mess with me, buddy. No. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we Are should you all right? move on. Are you all right? I really think we should move on. Thank you very much, Edgar. Edgar, don't, don't go, go down Edgar. there. Edgar. Edgar. <laughs>
Edgar, be nice. See you, Edgar. Edgar, be nice. Edgar. Edgar. Oh, bye, Edgar. Edgar. See bye, ya. Edgar. Bye, Edgar. <laughs> That's Grant. Oh, Grant. Okay. We're moving on to another area, ladies and gentlemen. Something that I am very, very skittish about. I do not like snakes. And this is called a retriculated python? Retriculated python. And these are the ones more you all folks have read about in Florida, down the Everglades. This is what happens when you get a pet snake, everybody, and you don't know what to do with it. There are snakes in the Everglades right now. If you've been reading the articles lately, they say 1,000. Some people say 10,000. Some people say they're up to 1,000, 10,000 in the Everglades. So please, do not get a python as a pet unless you know what you're doing, all right? This is a python. Now, remember very quick, remember what I told you about anacondas? I was in South America, just the Amazon. Those are anacondas. They live in the water, all right? They have, they have live babies. This animal is a python. They lay eggs. You find the python in Asia and in Africa. The largest snake in the world, they say, is a python. At, at the Columbus Zoo, we had the largest snake in the world. Uh, Fluffy is his name. He was 26 feet, 26 feet long and uh, 310 pounds. The largest snake they think in, so far in the world has been 34 feet and I think about almost 400 pounds, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yes. This animal here, here Maury, come here and hold it. I'm not holding it. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, right, take, no. Take, right, take. Yeah. You can hold it. I want you to see the power. Just put, let him wrap around you. This animal has 220 teeth like fish hooks, all right? 220 teeth. Once it bites, it's one of the few animals in the world that when it bites like this, like this, Maury, when it bites like oh, that, yeah, great. it cannot let go. It, it can't. His muscles have to relax. Well, how do you get him off? You sit there for about 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> okay, though, that's very nice. And I'd like to move on, please. Right. We'll be right back Thank after you. this, everybody. Next, it's the attack of the armadillos. Okay, that's, that's, what they, that's what they, And Jack Hanna's joined by an extremely rare baby leopard. Isn't this beautiful? And much more the downright strangest animals in the wild kingdom. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. So everybody, we're leaping into the spring season with Jack Hanna and all of his thrilling animal friends from around the world. Now, uh, you don't want to run into this animal. No. I mean, I, I, it, it, is, it is a porcupine, but it's called the African crested right. porcupine. Right. And again, I've seen a lot of North American porcupines, Maury, but never but one time have I ever seen an African porcupine. I, I think this animal, Maury, is probably, I, a lot of you may say, I think it's so beautiful. Black and white, look at this animal. A lot of people, folks, you see very few of these in any zoo in the world, all right? You see very few of them. Isn't, that, isn't it unique? You don't want to touch. No. Trust me. Now, those quills are used for several things in Africa. They're used for hunting. They're used for uh, weapons. They're used for knitting needles. And they're used for decoration. Thank you. Some of, thank you. We have some of our favorite things here. <laughs> armadillos, all right? These are armadillos. I love armadillos because that's what you think you know, you think you want to play softball with it. Now, Maury, this animal here, this is a three-banded armadillo, everybody. Three-banded, all right? This, Maury, not like the As Maury said, Texas, we have armadillos. South America, we have armadillos. Guess what? This is a three-banded armadillo. Sean will turn him around. I'll show you the three bands on his back. This is one of the rarest animals there is in Brazil, all right? Why is that? Because they cook it like a taco. He's got batteries in it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it don't work. Come on, come on, buddy, come on. There you go. He goes real fast sometimes, but right now, see, he's nocturnal. He wants to rest right now. Okay, and we have more armadillos here. There are no teeth either. This we is... have a screaming armadillo. A what? A screaming armadillo. I've never heard of a screaming and armadillo. And a screaming hairy armadillo. Well, now this is something. Put down your screaming armadillo. Let's see what he does. We'll go catch him. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hairy armadillo. Is that the hairy or this a hairy? This is, oh, the, hairy. This is a dwarf hairy. Or oh, this is a dwarf hairy, a screaming armadillo. Look at these. Uh, see the hair on those? When they get full grown, everybody, you're talking about something that looks like it came from the dinosaur era. Trust me. And guess what? This is one of the few animals more on the planet today. They date back to the dinosaur era and almost look the same in the dinosaur era. Can you imagine, though, the armadillos back then weighed over 1,000 pounds, unlike today you can see here. Okay, that's, 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 what, they, that's what they do. But that's what the armadillo does. Okay. Let's hear it for the armadillos. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We may have to shut down the... Uh... Oh, good. Thank gosh. Okay. We talked about those, uh, those animals whose protection was a shell. Yep. Let me tell you a real shell. This is an African tortoise. Right. Th yeah. This right here, everybody. Now, again, Grant's pretty big, all right? That thing is, that thing is over 75 pounds. That more more is not just a, a tortoise, everyone. That's an African spur thigh tortoise. You see the front legs here? See these right here? See those spurs? That's how the males fight each other. I want to show you real quickly how to tell a male and female tortoise. A lot of people ask me all the time, is this a male or female? Right now, this one, everybody, this is a female here. How do you know? All right, think about it. If this were a male tortoise, his, shell, his, his thing would be curved in like this. For, for when he, when he, when he, yeah, when he has to mount the female. So it has to be like that. Oh, oh I Th see. This is flat, obviously. Oh, right. So this, this is a female here. And by the way, what's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? All right, tortoise is mainly a land animal. A turtle is one that lives in water. Very good. Right? Thank you very much. Great. Always wanted to know that. Thank you. Now, everybody, be quiet. This is very rare. He is the smallest of what we call the four big cats. I guess lion, tiger. What's the third one? Isn't this beautiful? What's the third one? Lion, tiger? Uh, oh, lion, tiger would be the lion, tiger, jaguar. Um, leopard. Leopard. <laughs> Here right. we go. This is a leopard. This is a baby leopard, everybody. I can be within 10 feet more of a leopard in the wild. I never know it's there. Sometimes we will find them on the ground hunting, but when the minute they make a kill, the leopard takes their prey up in a tree to protect it from hyenas and other creatures, other animals that might take the food from the leopard. Thanks so much. That is beautiful. Appreciate Thank it. All so right, much. everybody. By the way, everybody, you can go uh, and, and find out all about Jack and what Jack has to do at uh, www.jackhanna.com to find out more about Jack, his hit show, Into the Wild. Okay. We'll be back right after this. Coming up, Jack Hanna is joined by some of the most incredibly rare birds. I love it with the head. Look yep. how far they yep. can go around. Yep. Yep. And much more the downright strangest animals in the wild kingdom. Here's a tegu lizard. Look at that top. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. So everybody, the winter's over. Warm weather's here today. None other than Jack Hanna bringing us all of his favorite spring animals straight to our show. And now uh, we've got birds. I don't like this bird too much. A vulture, a yellow-headed vulture. Now a lot of you may say, oh, it's just an old vulture. Who cares? Well, let me tell you something. Who cares? I care. Because this is the Mr. Cleanup. Like the hyena is a cleanup in Africa. Notice the bald head, everybody. Notice the bald head on your vulture. All right, like turkey vultures. They do that because they go inside a dead animal and they eat everything, all right? That's a beautiful shot right there very good. Uh, of, the, of the vulture. Thank, you, very Thank much. you so much. This next bird, this has always fascinated me. I've always been fascinated by owls. What? What's going on here? Everyone, this is unique. This is why I like it. I love it with the head. Look yep. how far they yep. can go around. Now, now what? See what Maury said? Why is that? Does anybody know why the owl's head does that? His eyeballs are so big. They cannot move in his socket. Anyway, this animal has the greatest eyesight of almost any animal in the world. And not only that, they call the owl the bird of silent flight. If that owl were to fly over your head at four inches, you would never hear it. A bird of prey, a vulture, you'd hear it flapping its wings. Now, right now, he's, that's called baiting, by the way. This animal's hit by a uh, car, so that's, they rehab a lot of these animals. Plus, this bird here looks like it might weigh, what, like, oh, two or three pounds, right? This bird doesn't even weigh a pound. It's all uh, hollow bone and feathers, this bird. Beautiful, Great. isn't it? Thank you. Beautiful owl. I love Beautiful that bird. Owl. The largest owl in the world, by the way. It's the largest owl that, that Grant has. Now, here's something I've never heard of. What is a zorilla? Okay, this is also, there's only four of these in the United States of America. Only four. Four of these? Four in the whole country. This is a young zorilla. And by the way, as Sean will tell you, this animal has the worst smell of any animal, right? Yes. And you look it up. Look it up, everyone. It'll tell you the worst smell of any animal in the world. It makes a skunk look like a perfume. I'm serious. Well, guess what? Then we have two perfumes for you because we have two skunks. So let's bring the skunks oh. out. Now, yeah, but you know, I mean, I know what a skunk is and I know what a skunk can do. 
These look like very nice animals. Well, now, Maury's saying they're nice, but Maury's got just what most of you folks might be seeing out there and seeing at home. Do not ever, remember everybody watching this show or in the audience, don't ever, ever take a skunk from your yard. Why is that? Skunks can carry the rabies virus and not have any symptoms, all right? If your dog gets squirted by one, don't laugh at this. Put to, uh, ketchup and that kind of stuff on them. That'd be the best thing to get the ketchup. smell Ketchup. Uh, very good. Our dog. Thank you very much. Now, Jack also has brought with us a tegu lizard, a tegu lizard. Well, this is a tegu lizard. Here we go. Oh, Here's wow. a tegu lizard. Well, okay. Look at that tongue. Look at the tongue. This is a red tegu lizard. Most of the tegu lizards I've seen, everybody, most of them, this is pretty rare. I've never seen a, I've seen black ones all over the place. This animal here loves to eat eggs, everyone. Now, will it eat a bird or something like that? Of course it will. Uh, but the animal is a, is a creature that smells with his tongue. Remember that. It picks up particles when he sticks that tongue out. Great. Thank you for Thank that. you very South much. America. We'll be back Beautiful. right after this. We're going to wrap this up. Next, Jack Hanna is bringing out some of the slowest. They slow. And the downright strangest animals from the entire wild kingdom. Look at that. That's the strangest turtle I've yeah. ever seen. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. I mean, we've had... We've had some great animals that Jack has brought us, uh, and, and not only great, but rare. I mean, but next up, uh, one of the, really, I mean, this is the slowest moving animal on the planet, planet probably, yes. The one of the this slowest is, moving, yes, exactly. This is a sloth, everybody. This, everybody, is a sloth, Maury. This is a two-toed sloth. If you look at the front foot here, you'll see two toes. There's a two-toed sloth. And a three-toed sloth. Three toes much a little bit bigger than this. Mm -hmm. This animal, everyone, does date back again to the dinosaur era. But guess what? It only comes down the ground one day a week. Why does it go down the ground? To go to the bathroom. Think about this. If it went to the bathroom in the treetops, the jaguar, the harpy eagle, other animals would hear it and go up there and eat the sloth. We have another great animal here. I always love the name of this animal. It's called a kookaburra. Oh, yeah. The a kookaburra. A kookaburra. It almost sounds like... That's a sound that something makes. So this this bird. Uh, uh, yeah, you heard that during the show. But this is a kookaburra from Australia, and I'll tell you, you heard him. Did you all hear him before the show? Didn't you? I know he did. I love this bird. He's just a little tired right now. Okay. Okay. May do it in a minute. All right. I don't know. Thank you very Thank much. You, we also a have. Kookaburra. We have our own turtle. Look at this, everyone. You'll never see this more. You've never seen one of these on here. No. Ever. Look at that. That's the strangest looking shell it, and turtle I've I told ever you. That's the longest neck turtle I've <laughs> ever seen. You'll never see one longer. All right, everybody. It's springtime. Everybody thinks of one particular animal in the spring. I wonder what Thank it is. What do you think that animal yeah. might be? A rabbit. We're going to look at rabbits. We have two kinds of rabbits. We got a large rabbit. And we got a small rabbit. Now, more, more. You know something? Come on. This is Easter time. You know what, everybody? Guess what, Maury? These were the first animals I had. If you read the books, really, kids that, ask me. Is that your first on animal? On our farm in Tennessee, you know the old saying, you start with a few rabbits? I literally had 240-something rabbits in the first three years. I only started with six. As it's Easter time, everyone, remember something. If you're going to get your child a rabbit for a pet, be very careful. Don't do it unless you have a home for it. Once you, it's a real cute little animal. You bring it home, and guess what? It has nowhere to go. This All is right. a beautiful rabbit here. That's a little dwarf rabbit. That's a dwarf rabbit. That's full grown, everybody. That's, That's full a, grown? Yes. Wow. Isn't that cute? I love rabbits. All right, we'll be back. we got special surprises for everybody when we come right back. Come here, come here. Next, Jack Hanna has a special surprise for all of the children in our audience. Jack Hanna's back, and he's joined by the most exotic animals from the entire wild kingdom. Okay, everybody, we've had so much fun with Jack today. Jack Hanna and all of his special wild animals. Right here, and we have surprises, by the way, for everybody in our audience. Everybody in our audience is going to receive their very own Maury gift bags filled with wonderful goodies, especially Jack's book. First, everybody's going to take home your very <laughs> own stuffed animal. We have a stuffed teddy bear. Thanks to Perfection by MJC. And to check more stuffed animals out, you can visit Perfection at www dot perfection dot com everybody's going to get animal wall murals thanks to our friends at kitty cows we want to thank wislow's world you're all going to receive your own book
the traveling tree, and also a monkey plush. Thanks to Paramount Home Entertainment for DVDs of PBS's Dinosaur Train and uh, Peter Noon Family World Tour Adventure. All right, and last but not least, we want to thank Cheryl's Cookies. Everybody's going to see some delicious cookies in them at www.cherylscookies.com. And more than anything else, we want to thank Jack Hanna, the Columbus Zoo, the Bucks County Zoo, Wild World of Animals, yep. and all of you out there, thank you very much. And you're going to get Jack's book, his new book. Enjoy the warm weather, everybody. Thanks so much to Jack. Right now, on a dramatic Mari, three young adults ready to show this man Greg. He wasn't there for you when you were growing up. Not at all. I need my daddy. I, I, I know you. That he is their father. I don't think any of these kids are you. I feel automatically they wasn't my kids. What are you crying for? I love what are you crying for? Love the DNA results are in my hand. This is going to settle it once and for all. And even more dramatic paternity tests are coming out today. I told you! I told you! Involving young teens. When it comes to eight-month-old Kaylee. A single mother with a special needs child. Find out right now. And all of this unforgettable DNA drama. Yeah. What can I do? Is about to begin. Everyone, this is 19 year old Kiana. This is, this is her 21 year old brother, Greg. And their 22 year old sister, Laquana. They are all here for one reason, to find out if this man, Greg Sr., is their biological father. Oh. You see, for the last two decades, Greg Sr. has denied all three of these young people. In fact, in fact Greg Sr. claims their mother, Latrell, was living a very promiscuous lifestyle. So listen to how 20 years of denial has affected these three grown children. Can you please bring the picture to you and tell me what goes to your heart? I feel like this is my true father. He, he looks just like me and I love him so much. I want him to be my daddy, but he denied me. He denied me so much and that hurts me. I grew up knowing this man is my dad and I love him, but it hurts to know that he's, he don't think that I'm his daughter. When I look at this picture, I mean, it makes it's kind of it kind of pisses me off because um, I see that my sister and them crying because they want their daddy and their life or whatever. And, like, yeah, I want him to know that if you was going to have all these kids, you should have took care of your responsibility as a man and took care of your kids. Yeah, I just want him to know when the results come out that he needs to step up. Even though I'm older now, he still needs to step up and be a father to me. I can just sit back and visualize when I was young and he said, I'm coming to get you all, but he never showed up. Okay, so I want everybody to know that Latrell, their mother, is adamant that Greg Sr. fathered all three of her children. You believe your mother, or do you believe Greg? Oh boy, I believe my mother. Look, look at my mom. She doesn't lie to me. That is my mom. I love her so much. I love her so much. The, the last day of my bro. My dad needs to step up and be a dad. Yeah. But, here, but here's the thing. Here's the thing with you, Kiana. I must say, your father, he's always said 
you're not mine, hasn't he? Yes, he has said that for 19 years, and today we gonna show him that today I yeah. am his boy. Find out that your father's name was not on your birth certificate. I found out this two months ago, and I went to the DMV and I called my mom. I said, "Mom, is there anything you want to tell me that I doesn't know?" She said, "Your daddy said, oh, you not here, so he's not going to sign the papers." Oh. I took the thing off and I gave the piece of paper to the lady, and she said, "Well, ma'am, this week through here's your birth certificate." It hurts my heart. It it, it really did. I'm I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm frustrated, and that's this. Right. Disrespectful. Okay. Now, you've known him all your life, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have known my so dad. So, what's all my... the relationship been like if he denies you? There is no relationship because he hasn't been there but in and out. I need my daddy. I, I, I know you. Oh. Greg. Sir. You have his name. Yes, sir. Is he your father? Yes, sir. Do you treat him as a father? Not really. He never been there. He's a coward. He's a coward. So, wasn't there for you when you were growing up? Not at all. Not around? Not at all. Laquana, you're the oldest, aren't you? Yes, that's correct. You've always felt that you had a connection to Greg that your brother and your sister didn't have, didn't you? Right. Why? What happened? Well, as when we were young, he always felt that I was the only one that was his, his, ch his child. Really? You... But that changed. So you grew up as a youngster thinking that you were his daughter. Right. When did it change? It changed about a week ago. What? He called me on the phone what? and said, Laquana, I am not your dad. You need to call your mama and ask that, him. That's the first time he ever that's said that. That's the first time he ever told me that. Do you think you look like Greg? Yes. Look yes, at I, I look. I look. I look. I look. I look. We have, all of us have this height, except for my sister has my mom height. Me and my brother have the same height as my dad. Right. Yeah. Greg, you think you look like Greg Sr.? I mean, I look more like my mom, but yes, I think I look like him. Here's the thing. Your father has no problems talking about your mother, does he? Talks about your mother all the time. Yes, very yes. disrespectful, and I don't like it. Oh, yeah. I really don't. Says when, when he was with your mother, she was promiscuous. She was with other people. Well, he was with other people, too, but didn't nobody complain. Oh, The bottom, how I feel about it. It takes two to make one. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, everybody, before we meet Greg Sr., who these kids say is their father, this is what he had to say. My relationship with Latrell was off and on because I knew she wasn't nothing but a liar. I've been paying child support for these kids for 18 years. Knowing all the time these three kids are not my kids. I never signed a birth certificate, so I don't know why she's saying these kids are my kids. They don't even look like me. Matter of fact, they don't even look like each other. When she first got pregnant with Laquana, I immediately had doubts. Then she come up pregnant with LaGreg, and I wasn't even around. Two years later, I pops back up in Latrell's life. She's already pregnant with Kiana. How could I be the father? The timing just don't add up. The trail has some skeletons in her closet, and she needs to come clean with her children. All right, everybody. Here's Greg. Welcome, Greg. She's missed her father all these years. That's why she's Murray, I haven't left these kids. 
I have a lefty have, have a Here's the one, Greg. You're the bad guy when it comes to my audience. Yeah. They're they going to get it. They're going to get it. You don't think any of these kids are yours? I have doubts that these kids are mine. Doubts? Or, or automatic they're not Auto mine? I feel automatically they wasn't my kids. being a daddy to y'all because guess what i've been there for you all this long time there is a big missing piece to this puzzle and that's the mother latrell and when we come back we're going to meet latrell and have three dna tests when we come back. don't go anywhere all three dramatic DNA results are next. A 16-year-old struggling teen mom. She's still in love with this teen boy even though he does nothing for her baby. Both of their mothers are here and they're extremely divided. What will the DNA test show to these two teens and their mothers? A single mother, two babies, one disabled, and she's doing it all alone. Is Greg the father of these three young adults? A dramatic hour of Mari continues. We've been talking to 19-year-old Kiana, her 21-year-old brother Greg, their sister 22-year-old Laquana, and the man who the three of them want to be and prove to be their father, Greg Sr. Now, Greg claims their mother, Latrell, who he admits he was with for off and on like five years, I think. Is that yeah. about right? Yes. Uh, that she was promiscuous. She had a lifestyle that one of many other guys could be the fathers of these three kids. Well, let's hear from the mother. Here's Latrell, everybody. Yeah. You know these kids ain't yeah, you, I, How you gonna say that to me? You uh, was together off and on and know these kids was yours. Let me tell you something. And Let I me was, tell you something. Every time I was pregnant with them, I came and told you. You know that. Because you came I, and I told me that. I told y'all I come right back and got pregnant with Kiana. And when I had the Greg, I came and, and brought you to you and you told me, get that baby out my face. That ain't none of my child. That's I definitely did. And I said, and I said, yeah, he's sitting right there. Still, the, the things that they do and the way they act, they can't be my church. Yes, they is. They are church. Have a seat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Okay, listen. Kids. For real? Yeah. Well, let me tell you this, Trail. Let me tell you this. So you stand here before me, and, and you you look at these three kids that you say they are mine. They are you, yours. You tell me you never messed around on me. You tell me that on national television that you never messed around on no, me. No, I ain't messed around on you. Sit down, Latrell. Sit down, Greg. Tell me why you think he's saying this. Why do you think? Because he don't want to step up to the plate and be Wait a, a father. He has... Wait a minute. He's been paying child support, he says, for 18 right. years. Why would a man pay child support, ch uh, child support for a children and ain't theirs? Murr. And then he Murr. 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 Listen. Listen. Listen, Murr. This is going to settle it once and for all. Murray. Yes, yes. Murray. Yeah. I ain't signed no birth certificate for these kids. I ain't signed no birth certificate for these kids. If I show that you're the father of these kids, you go back and yeah. sign that birth certificate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Go back and sign. Go back and sign. I'll say this to you. I, I'll say this to you. And I apologize. If this DNA come back positive, but if it come back negative, I'm still gonna love you. Because 
in these last last years, especially you and you, who do you call me? I call you daddy. Who do you call me? I call you daddy Greg. Have I ever told you from these lips while you got on that in the TV, you wasn't my child? You call me. I asked you a question. Have you, yeah, have you, you ever, there. have you I ever there. heard me tell you? Huh? I was there, it don't matter. You it, know what, daddy, it don't matter. Oh, so, 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 so you can't admit I'm to what I'm saying? I'm right now. Uh, huh? I'm saying on that man, boo, she got your last right. name. I'm going to settle a 22-year-old mystery right now. Have a seat. <laughs> When it comes to 19-year-old Kiana, Greg, you are the father. When it comes to 22-year-old Laquana, Greg, you are the father. When it comes to 21-year-old Greg, Greg, you are not Latrell, we'll be glad to help you out any if you want to pursue this, if Greg wants to pursue this. But all I know is this. He's got two loving sisters, a loving mother, and a man who is going to step up because you've been around him. A 16-year-old struggling teen mom. She's still in love with this teen boy, even though he does nothing for her baby. Both of their mothers are here, and they're extremely divided. What will the DNA test show to these two teens and their mothers? Is Greg the father of these three young adults? A dramatic hour of Mari continues. Everybody, everybody, this is Kim. Welcome, Kim, to the show. This is this is Kim's this is Kim's mother, Marianne. Welcome, Marianne, to the show. We do too many shows focused around teens who are too sexually active at a young age. Yeah. Kim is now 16. When she was 15, she got pregnant with her eight-month-old daughter, Kaylee. Look how cute she is. Now, being a teen mom is hard enough. But life can even be more difficult when the father of her baby, 17-year-old Damien, and his mother, Patty, began to die that he is the father. Now, Kim, let's talk about your relationship with Damien. What was it like? It was perfect at first. It was? Yes, it was. As soon as I got pregnant, things started to change. He started doubting. He said I was cheating. It's most of his big it's his ass mother's mama. fault. Run his mother. Why? Why is it his mother's fault? Because she she's got him under his her shirt tail. Right. I mean, really, she's she and mother but a mouthy ass Yankee that what? come down here. <laughs> I mean, that's what she is. Wait she come down whoa, here. From, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not refight the Civil War here. I, I mean. mean She shouldn't run her mouth about us and come down here and run her mouth about us and then deny the child knowing that, that he's the father of the baby. 
How do we know I mean, she's real. the father? We don't know he's the father. Let's get serious. That's a beautiful little girl. Thank you. You think that little girl looks like him? I mean, Here's look the at her crying. I mean, there's no sense in it. But there was a point. There was a point when Damien was there, right? Yeah. yeah. And then people began feeding him. Is that yep. it? All this information that you say is false. Mm -hmm. Not just people, his mother. Oh, his mother. Say nothing. It was in You need to get your story straight. Her mouth, just like she is now. She needs to keep her mouth shut. He'd be a decent boy if he she keep her mouth shut. Stay out of the doggone mess. So before we meet the people from the north, this is what. Patty and her son Damien had to say. I called the Morris Show because I have doubts about being the father of Kim's baby because she cheated on me. I raised an honest, truthful son. He's not going to take responsibility of somebody else's child. I'm only 17, but I was going to step up and take care of the baby until I found out she was a liar and a cheater. Kim and her mother, they tore my son's heart out. That's what they did. Kim cut off all contact with me, and that made me doubt the baby even more. They don't want him to see Kaylee, and that hurts, because he got attached to her. I haven't seen the baby in almost three weeks, and it hurts. He doesn't know if Kaylee is his or not, but he is hurting so bad. I'm confused about the DNA results, because either way, I'm still hurting. I do want Kaylee to be his daughter, because I do love that little girl but then I don't want her to be, because I don't want him to have any more part with that family. I'm sick and tired of people calling my son a deadbeat dad and me a deadbeat grandmother, because we're not. We're good people. All right, everybody here, Damien and Patty. Hi there. Understand, you want to be the grandmother, but you don't want to be the grandmother. I want to be her grandmother. I do. I truly love that little girl. She took my heart. But I, then in a way, I don't, because I don't want to have no part of the family. We don't want to have no part of her either. Wait a minute. So, Damien, things were cool with you and Kim. Everything was good. And then what happened? Well, everything was fine up until I got a Facebook message for someone in uh, seven states away saying that she told them that she cheated with another guy. And that's where yeah, all this started. This is when the, another part of it started. Anybody can make a Kim to page and message my somebody. I'm going to go against my mother to clean their nasty house. You, know you want to be the father? You, know you want to be the friend. father of Kaylee? In a way, I do, and then in a way, I don't. Oh. Oh. If you are the father, you'll be part of her life. Yeah, I'm gonna take him to court and fight for her. He ain't gonna do nothing for that baby. He ain't done nothing for the baby. We since done been born. for that baby. We bought yeah. baby clothes. Yeah. We yeah. bought yeah. diapers. Yeah. We bought yeah. everything. Yeah. Out to my house. Am I right or wrong, Kim? Dang, you ain't brought nothing. You're a liar. Okay. You're, you're a liar. You're, you're a liar. Thank like you. She lives with me. I know what she's got. I uh, feel oh, sorry yeah. for her living yeah. in your nasty oh, well. home. Do you want to be with Kim? Not no more. No, I don't. You don't. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm going to sell it right now. <laughs> when it comes to eight month old Kaylee, Damien, you are the father. <laughs> After dealing with tremendous loss. You got pregnant with twins, they died. Yes. You got pregnant with, with triplets, triplets they, they died. Yes. 
Paulette's now dealing with raising two children by herself, including caring for one child with cerebral palsy. Look at this on your forehead. Look at your forehead. Junior, yeah. I don't see it. I don't see it. What will these two extremely important DNA tests prove? We're going to find out right now. the father of these three young adults, a dramatic hour of Mari continues. Everyone, this is Paulette. Welcome Paulette to the show. Paulette is in desperate need of help and support. See, Paulette has two children, one-year-old Jatonio and five-year-old Antonio Jr. Now, Paulette is raising both of these children alone because this man, Antonio, refuses to accept that these are his children. Now, the, stake, the stakes are high in this DNA story because Antonio Jr. has cerebral palsy. Paulette puts every ounce of her heart and soul into caring for and nurturing this wonderful, special child. You dated him for six years. Yes. He denies your two. And I'm tired. I'm sick of it. Now, I'm sick of it. Like, everybody <laughs> should know. Everybody should know the pain that you've lived through. Okay. Antonio Jr. was a twin. He yes. Got, his, his, his twin died. Yes. You, had, you got pregnant with twins. They died. Yes. You got pregnant with, with triplets. triplets. They, they died. Yes. Why did he deny? Um, what did he tell you? Uh, cheating. He thought I was cheating on him. But he's the father. Yes, he's no. He ain't no way. Ain't nobody else no father. He a thousand percent sure he's the father of my two kids. Now, as we said, Antonio Jr. has cerebral palsy. Yes. Now there are lots of forms of cerebral palsy, and this is severe. And I go through a lot. I know because we every e day we even did video on what a day was like. Taking you, care of him. Taking care of this little boy. Watch. Paulette's five-year-old son, Antonio, suffers from cerebral palsy. From the moment he wakes up, Antonio needs Paulette's undivided attention. Most five-year-olds are able to feed themselves. For Antonio, mealtime takes on a whole new meaning. Because Antonio is unable to walk, Paulette routinely gives her son physical therapy. While struggling to raise a handicapped child, Paulette also cares for her one-year-old son. A single mother, two babies, one disabled, and she's doing it all alone. You, you say you're convinced. Yes. That you know why he denies these yeah, kids. Yeah, because he why? cheated and he feel I cheated on him and I didn't. If you prove he that he's the father, would you welcome him back into your life? And I'm gonna welcome him back to take care of his kids. He can be in his kids' life, not my life. He can be in his kids' life. This is what Antonio had to say. There is no way I'm the father of Paulette's two kids, Antonio and Jatonio. I had a relationship with Paulette for over six years. And then after we got broken up, she decided to go sleep with 10 other people. My kids might not be mine. She even gave me an STD. When I look at Antonio, he doesn't look anything like me. I'm dark skinned, he light skinned. I feel bad he got a disability, but I still don't think he's my child. Now, Paulette trying to make me seem like a deadbeat father. That's a damn lie. I've been a good father to Antonio and Jatonio. Give them money, buy them clothes, whatever they need. I admit I pulled away from the boys, but I'm sick of Paulette and her lies. And nothing's going to change till I find out if these are my kids or not. Everybody, here's Antonio. <laughs> I want to be with you. Kid. I want to be with you. Yeah, you want to be with me. That ain't the whole. That yeah, ain't yes got it nothing is. to do with it. That ain't yes got it nothing is. to do with our kids. Bro. Yes, it is. No, I don't. I don't want to be with you. I don't want you. You want me. No, it ain't you that. Cheated no. No. You cheated on me. You cheated on me with her across the street. Look how many people you not cheated with. You mess with somebody across the street from where I stay at. Look at your Tony forehead. Look at your forehead. Junior, yeah. I don't see it. I don't see it. Look at her skin. I don't see it. You look like me. 
I don't see it, but I've still been there for them kids. And if you're the father, you'll be there even more, uh, right? Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, we gon' see. They gonna be mad we regardless. Gonna see, they mad regardless. We gon' see. They my kids regardless. We gon' see. By the way, let's clear this up. Do you want to be with her or not? No. It ain't even now. Keep it real. Keep no. it all way real. This is what I want. I want us to be able to have a, a, a parent relationship and take care of my kids. That's all. Where you get? When it comes to one-year-old Jatonio, Antonio, you are the father. I told you! I told you! That's what's up. I told you! Can I get a apology? That's what's up. Can I get a apology? You ain't finished. When, when it comes to five-year-old Antonio, Antonio, you are the father. Okay. Okay. Are you a never hear me say that again? And I know you'll take care of these kids, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Shane is so positive Ashlyn's baby belongs to another man. I've seen Ashlyn's shoe prints on the back of our windshield. He moved back in with his mother. Footprints on the window in the car? His mother says Shane has never lied to her. And the DNA test will determine the fate of everyone involved. I'm done. I'm done. What can I do? Greg, the father of these three young adults, a dramatic hour of Mari continues. Everyone, this is Ashlyn. Welcome Ashlyn to the show. Now, Ashlyn is madly in love with her boyfriend of two years, Shane. But the future of their relationship depends on two things. It depends on a lie detector test, which we gave Ashlyn, and a paternity test. Now, Shane accuses Ashlyn of secretly cheating on him and is now denying their seven-month-old son, Micah. This family's in a state of turmoil. Ashlyn believes the only way to put an end to Shane's suspicion is to uncover the truth. Here's a glimpse of Shane's side of the story. My relationship with Ashlyn happened way too fast. One minute we was dating and the next minute she was pregnant. Even though I had my doubts, I still wanted to be a family with her. But then all her dirty little secrets started coming out. One day I walked into the garage and I found washcloths that smelled just like sex. And I found stains on our TV and even sex lube on our door handles. Ashlyn's friend told me that she was having sex with her own husband. I almost lost my mind when I seen Ashlyn's shoe prints on the back of our windshield. I fully believe she was having sex with another man. It makes me sick to my stomach that I've been wasting two years of my life on her. I've got seven different kids with two other women. I take care of my responsibilities. And if I find out Mike is not my child, it's a wrap and the relationship is officially over. So, did that slip by you or did you hear that he had seven other kids <laughs> who he says he's in their lives? Now, apparently it's gotten so bad that Shane moved out. And now Shane lives with his mother, Carla, who's here today, too. Because somehow Carla believes you're cheating, too, Ashlyn. Yep. You know that? Footprints yep. on the window in the car? No, it, it's, it's just ridiculous. I have three children. I have twin four-year-old boys. And I, I have Micah. And I have Shane. And I take care of all of them. And I even took care of his two youngest kids, too, while I was pregnant with our son. You're so sure of yourself, you took a lie detector test, and we're yeah. going to have the results. Yeah. OK. Now, <laughs> when did Shane start to deny the baby? I don't know. Like, probably in a couple, when he was a couple months old. One of your friends told him that you had sex. Yeah. OK, when we were together for only a couple months, um, he came to me and told me that he was talking to my best friend. Oh. And the drama queen. they were Come talking on. about having With sex. With the drama. Come on, Ashlyn. You know you are full of drama. You turn the waterworks off and on like a faucet. One minute you're talking to me on
on the phone screaming and hollering. Okay. And the next minute, so we're you... going to bring Shane and his mom out here. Okay, here she is, Carla and Shane. Drama, drama, drama. Why are you so all over her? Why am I all over her? This is my baby. I brought this man in the world. Really? I did not bring him in the world for her to take him out, Maury. Did you bring him in the world to have eight children? Hey, my son's a proud daddy. My, my son's a proud daddy, and I am an evolved grandmother. Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. You want to be with her? Yeah. Really? If she gets some help. She needs some help. You're the one that needs the damn help, Shane. You do. You need some help. Everybody needs some help, okay? Do you want to be Micah's father? Do you want to be Micah's father? He knows he's Micah's father. Yeah, I want to be his father. He better be. I know that much. He better be Micah's father. Oh, I'm not even worried about it. She committed herself to you. She took a lie detector test to get you back in her house. We asked you the day that Shane found soiled washcloths in the house. Was it from you having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. The lie detector determined. Don't go away because the lie detector results and the DNA results are next. I'm done. I'm done. What can I do? Is Greg the father of these three young adults? A dramatic hour of Mari continues. My relationship with Ashley happened way too fast. One minute we was dating, and the next minute she was pregnant. Then all her dirty little secrets started coming out. And if I find out Micah's not my child, it's a wrap, and the relationship is officially over. You want to be Micah's father? He knows he's Micah's father. Yeah, I want to be his father. He better be. She took a lie detector test to get yeah. you back in her house. We asked you the day that Shane found soiled washcloths in the house. Was it from you having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I told you! I told you! We asked you, we asked you during your relationship with Shane. I told you. During your relationship with Shane, have you ever posted ads on Craigslist yes. looking for sexual encounters? Yes, she did. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I'm done. I'm done. During the relationship with Shane. Did she ever have sexual intercourse with another man? She said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I'm more interested in whether you're the father of this child, okay? That to me is the most important thing. When it comes to seven-month-old Micah, Shane, you are the father. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Take Jesus. care of that boy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. The DNA results just came in. You are the father. And now the emotions are coming out backstage. Man, I love them kids. They've been there with them kids. But they you can't know. deny them. You can't deny them. Of course. What am I supposed to do? Is Greg the father of these three young adults? A dramatic hour of Mari continues. Earlier, we all met Paulette and her former lover, Antonio. She denies your tooth. And I'm tired. I'm sick of it. After dealing with tremendous loss. You got pregnant with twins. They died. Yes. You got pregnant with, with triplets. triplets they, they died. Yes. Paulette's now dealing with raising two children by herself, <laughs> including caring for one child with cerebral palsy. Look at this on your forehead. Look at your forehead. Man, I, Junior, yeah. I don't see it. I don't see it. Look at that.
The DNA test proved that Antonio has been completely wrong. You are the father. You are the father. After the show with executive producer Paul Fallhaber. You're upset right now. What's going on? Why are you so upset? Emotions came out. I love you. I love you. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. It's just, she needs to get her for you. This is deep. Yeah, it's, it, man, I love them kids. They've been there with them kids. But it's you like, can't deny them. You can't deny them. Of course. What am I supposed to do? Can't deny them. You're sleeping with all these different things. It don't matter. You got people. So how are you guys going to move forward from this moment on? I mean, I, I just want you to take care of his kids. And, and that, all I want her to do is give us that bomb. It's right now, over. Right now. It's over. It looks like these two will not be together again as a couple. You know you're really angry with him, but you still want to be with him? No, I don't. I'm done. I am been done with me. Even though Antonio admits he's still in love with Paulette. I ain't gonna be lying. Yes, I do love her. That's my first kid's mother right there. You're mad enough to admit it. Yeah, she came. She came. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me today. I want to thank everybody across the country and around the world who watches The Maury Show. I want to thank my live studio audience. Thank you. Until next time, America, thank you. The emotion starts right now on Mari. Rhonda is a freak. She know I am not the father of that baby. John's mother, Rosalind, she's on Rhonda's side. Stop being a deadbeat dad and raise your daughter. You love your mother. That was my mama when she on her side. <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. John, the wedding plans have been put on hold. Took medication that made me sterile. I have been told that I couldn't have no kids. To lie, that is your baby. Rio. Oh. She's got a whole bill. Diapers, wipes, formula, gas money, rent. Oh, and don't forget an additional $1,000 for the emotional distress. But I ain't paying a dime for another man's baby. He says he used protection. If you use a Magnum condom, you don't have a Magnum size. But is he the father? James and this man is here because two women say that he fathered all four of their children. Four? No way. Is Greg the father of all four? Everyone, this is Rhonda. Now, Rhonda is here because she is desperate to prove to this man, John, that he is the father of her one-year-old daughter, John Tavia. Now, John's mother, Rosalyn, is also here. But guess what? She's on Rhonda's side. That's my granddaddy. You know that's your daughter. So, you know it. John, you know damn well, that's your baby. have two very different positions on this situation. Watch. Today, I'm going to prove to my dumbass son, John, that he is the father of Rhonda's baby. Rhonda is a freak. She know I am not the father of that baby. John needs to grow up and be a man. Rhonda's not going to lie about who the father of her baby is. Rhonda's nothing but a liar. She said she got pregnant in November, but the bitch can't do her math because the dates don't add up. The only reason Rhonda's trying to pin this baby on me because we already have a son together and she don't want to look like the freak that I know she is. I'm a thousand percent sure John Tavia is my grandbaby. And I can't wait till John has to eat his words. I'm a thousand to twenty percent sure that I'm not the father of that baby. And when the test proves it, Rhonda and my mother is the only ones that's gonna be looking stupid. I love it, a thousand and twenty percent. He's stupid. He real stupid. He's very stupid. Yeah. I ain't never seen nobody so stupid in my life. You know you my baby's daddy. We gonna see. We gonna see. Wait a second. We gonna wait see. a second. We gonna but see. You slept with him. You loved him. You five years been with him. For, I was with him for five, years, and he's denying my daughter. Today, I'm going to prove to him. Today, you are going to take care of my yeah. daughter. Today, today is the day. Today, today, is the day. today, boo boo, it's the day. You are going to take care of man. Yeah, you are going to take care of what's yours. You are going to take Keep care of man. You are going to take care.
call him John anymore. No, I'm calling him Daddy. That's all he deserves from me is Baby Daddy. That's it. What do you, baby what do you think of his mom? Those are your I'm good, baby John. I love her. John, that I is love your her. baby. She helps so much. She comes get, she come get my children every weekend. I buy pampers. I buy clothes. Yeah. I buy shoes. <laughs> Best for a formula. I bet all that. You baby. ain't bought nothing. That's your baby. baby. You say it's not him. Because he said the time dates don't add up. Right, and? and I don't, other than that, that I don't know why he said. But do the time add up? Yes, <laughs> November to September, why doesn't it? This is why what John had to say, watch. Rhonda, I may be your baby daddy for our son, but I sure in the hell ain't the baby daddy for your daughter. I'm sick of your lies, I'm sick of your games, and I'm sick of you telling everybody that's my baby. When you know it's not, how dare you get my mama caught up in your lies? But today, when Murray say that I am not the father, she'll see that you're nothing but a little freak. Here he is. Problem with the dates, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm just saying. You can say all what you want to like say. I it said, doesn't matter. Like I said, but when I got to say, I'm going to go to the date. I'm going to go to the date. I'm not going to go to the date. It don't matter. It don't matter. I got a pound. That's my logo. That's my logo. I'm going to go to the date. I'm going to go to the date. I'm going to go to the date. Like I said. Like I said. No. Like I said. You know what I'm going to say? We're about to see the date. We're about to see the date. Say, watch this. We're gonna see. Look me in my eyes, John. Look me in my eyes. Stop being a dumbass. I raised you to be a man. Stop being a dad, be dad, and raise your daughter. John, I love you. You know I love you. But if this don't stop today, I'm gonna kick your ass. Here she is, wow. That's your daughter right there, ain't your son. My daughter. I don't care. It don't you. You right. That's you right. You ain't no mama. A mama of your son. No matter what. To think of being no matter what. Calm down. I know you. 
Your grandbaby. That I know is my grandbaby. I know you When he come back and then they say that you ain't. That is my grandbaby. When they say you you're not, ever, what you gonna do then? Cry that again? Cry some more. Cry me a river. You, I don't even want to hear all that. You're messing a whole that. lot with that baby. You're messing a whole lot with that baby. You're messing a whole lot with that baby. I told you in front of the house when I was breaking with a job. We didn't even have to be here. You could have got a DNA test at the hospital. We're going to find out. Let's go. 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 let us Okay. That is a thousand on, percent bro. my baby. Hey, they, That's his hey, baby. Cut it all in the butt right now. We're going to find out right now. Nip it all in the butt right now. When it comes to one year old John Tavia, John, are you are not. <laughs> came out, we received a mystery phone call that turned this story completely upside down. Oh, my God. <sighs> the wedding plans have been put on hold. When I was younger, I took medication that made me sterile. I have been told that I couldn't have no kids. To lie, that is your baby. That is your baby. Rio. Oh. And this man is here because two women say that he fathered all four of their children. Four? No way. Is Greg the father of all four? <laughs> Diapers, wipes, formula, rent. <laughs> Tiffany has been with her fiance Rio for five years. And she was overjoyed when she found out she was pregnant. Sadly, ever since two and a half month old Silas was born, their wedding plans. <laughs> The wedding plans have been put on hold. You see, it's all because Rio was always told by family members his entire life that he was sterile and couldn't have babies. <laughs> Did you know that he had been told that? Yes. Didn't matter. And I didn't believe it. It was because of medication that he had taken when he was a child, right? When he was a child, and they said that he had was tested when he was eight years old, his, his family member, his family member, they spent $10,000 to have him tested when he was eight. What is the doctor supposed to do with an eight-year-old? I don't even think you have sperm when you're eight. That's the only reason he doubts this? Does he think that you, ha does he have any evidence that you messed around on him or anything? Never. I would never, ever, ever cheat on any man I was ever with. Oh. I, I love 
love him with all my heart. I have been with him for almost five years. It will be five years of March. I have been with him. I have never cheated on him. And it, it makes me so mad that one of his family members would even say that that adorable ass baby is not his. Look at him. And look at the baby. You think they look alike? Look at those eyes. That's his daddy's eyes. This is what Jerio had to say. Why? My family means everything to me. I've been with my fiance Tiffany for five years. Now we have a little baby. I always wanted a child. I always wanted my own to raise, and I finally have one. And the question of whether it's mine or not is tearing me apart. A family member keeps telling me that I can't have any kids because when I was younger, I took medication that made me sterile. I don't want to believe that Tiffany was cheating on me, but she did disappear for a few weeks, and I was told by other people that she was seeing someone else. I think about these doubts every single day and I feel torn apart to not even know the truth of whether he's mine. There's no bigger fear in the world than to know whether I'm being taken for a ride or not. By the way, is he a good father? Yes. He's a good. really good father. Well, that's good. Here he is, Rio. Rio, come on out. Welcome to the show. Rio. Rio, you love her? You love her very much with all my heart. There's not anything I wouldn't do for her. I've been with her for over five years, and I love her to death. Then why are you even, why would you even, I mean, come on, think about it. You were eight. Do you even remember going to the doctors? Look at here, man. I've been with other women before, and none of them ever seemed to the get pregnant. The woman you were with was fixed. She had no uterus. She had That's nothing in That's one woman. Her. What about the rest of them that I was with? And nobody seemed to get pregnant. Nobody it's seemed to get condoms. pregnant. I'm 32 years old. It's called real. condoms. All real. I want to do is be sure. Real, real. I want to tell you something. I was told, you know, in my, in, when I read up on you, I was told about the medication. I'm not going to uh, name it, but I, I was told about the medication you were taking. I don't know about the connection between sterility and that medication. I don't, I don't know that. I hope to God that you're right. I have been told by people who I love and trusted and been raised by that I've been sterile, that I couldn't have no kids. And then on the other hand, well, I've been with not. her for They're five lying. years. They're lying. That's a lie. That is your baby. That is. If this is your child, you're going to love that child, take care I of that love child. Him now. And, and, and you're going to get married, I guess. We're going to get married. We're going to find and out. And I'm right going now. to my, I'm gonna do it, get a house, and we're going to grow old together. I just want to know. Okay. Now, I just want to know. That's all I want to do is know. That's I the, love this that's baby. The kind to of death. Cu that's the kind of couple I. I wanted a baby for 10 years now. I wanted my own father. I've had girlfriends with babies. They could not call me father because I, I wasn't the father. I don't know why you let people your mind then. Well, nobody's going to mess with it after this if the right result and comes out. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. When it comes to two and a half month old Silas, Rio, you are the father. <laughs> That's great. That's great, okay? Love your family. That's all it takes. Where is he? Did you go see him backstage? Daddy's here. I love you so much. This is our next president. <laughs> As soon as the results came out, we received a mystery phone call that turned this story completely upside down. Oh, my God. <gasps> She's got a whole bill. Diapers, white formula, $1,000 for the emotional distress. But I ain't paying a dime for another man's baby. He says he used protection. If you use a Magnum condom, you don't have a Magnum side. <laughs> but is he the father? James?
sex secrets revealed. You've been cheating on my friend? All their sexy secrets are coming out. I hate you! Cheaters, liars, and fraternity tests on the next Mario. Diapers, wipes, formula, rinse. My next guest, Wendy, has proof that this man, James, fathered her now two-year-old son, Ivory. And the proof comes in the form of what she says is an extra-large condom that she says James attempted to use during intimacy that was just too big for him. I'm sick and tired of James denying my son, Ivory, he needs to step up before I knock his ass out. James used an extra large condom when we had sex. It fell off because it was too big. That's how I know he got me pregnant. For two years, I spent all the money taking care of my son when James should have been there helping me. Let me break it down for you. Diapers. $517, wipes, $235, formula, $135, and the food that I had to put on my son's table, $2,700. Do you believe this? Gas money, $1,280, motel rooms, $6,000. How much money, how much money, how much money do you got? Rent, $6,000. $657.50. And don't forget an additional $1,000 for the emotional distress that he has caused me. The emotional distress. You got it at $1,000. It should be more. I was homeless. When you told him you were pregnant, what did he say? Hell Why are no. you telling me? Mm. Oh. 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 He says he used protection during if you use a magnum condom, you don't have a What is going to happen? <laughs> don't lie. Don't try to make it big for TV. He's try he said that you're just trying to Why would I try to blame him? What do I have to gain? <laughs> this is what Man, what he got to say. Wendy, you ain't nothing but a hood rat. You slept with half the block. Ivory is not my son. It don't matter what size the condom is. I wore one. I remember when you ran down the street with the due date paper. I ripped it up because I'm not the father. Your baby first name and middle name belong to another man. Why would you give your son another man's name if it's supposed to be mine? Ivory doesn't look anything like me. My ears stick out and I have a gap in my teeth. You don't have any of those features. You can add up all the money you think I owe you, but I ain't paying a dime for another match, baby. Wendy, the whole world will see today. You're a lying Ivory is not my son. I'm a Here's James. James, come on out. Here he is. It's your baby. Is that your baby? Where at? I don't know. What you... do you see in me that you see in him? Okay. Uh, you see let's, my face. Let's Hello. Back up. Let's back up. James, you had sex with her? Yeah. Now you don't know. Yeah. Why, your drunk ass probably don't even yeah, remember. Yeah, I was drunk, so I probably just now remembered it. Never. Are you going to take care know. of this child if it's yours? If that's what we're here for. Darn right that's what we're that's here what for. That's what we're here for. She's got a whole bill that you owe her. Do, she better do, use it. Do. Let me see it. How much money do you got? It? You ain't about to rip Okay, me then, because that's all you were. Okay. Okay, I need my money. <laughs> what, your money? Diapers, $517, <laughs> Maury. Yep. Wipes, $235. Yep. Formula, $135. You're supposed to do that. You're a mother, right? You're supposed to do that. I ain't supposed no. to do that myself. No. Right. You know it. You got me twisted. You got me twisted. Just sit down. All right, we're going to find this out. James, sit down. We're going to find this out. James, Whatever. if this Smart is your child, you if this with. is your child, you're going to help take care of this child. Yeah, right? of course. When it comes to two-year-old Ivory, James 
You, you are, are the father. As soon as the results came out, we received a mystery phone call that turned this story completely upside down. Oh my God. At 16, she hid her pregnancy. I didn't want to get in trouble because I was scared. Girl, you know I ain't told baby's father. She had told you it'd have been something different. Jonathan. <laughs> At 16, Jalissa was ashamed of a terrible mistake she made. That actually, she hid her pregnancy for seven months. Wow. And then when she finally told her ex-boyfriend of one year, Jonathan, he started to deny the baby. So now, Jalissa is 19. She's a single mom. She's struggling to raise her two-year-old daughter, Javon, all alone. Your mom didn't know? Nobody knew? I didn't live with her. I moved from my mom and stayed with my grandma because I didn't want to get in trouble because I was scared. You had a lot of dreams, didn't you? That yes. You gave up. What, what, what dreams? I wanted to finish school, graduate, and go to college to be a nurse. But when I got pregnant, I stopped going to school because I see Jonathan got pregnant. <laughs> and you didn't tell Jonathan? No, after a while, I told him that I was pregnant, and he changed. He, he hope I get a and hope I have a miscarriage. He didn't care no more. You ever think he would deny your baby? He me to have his baby. He always asked me. You think they look alike? Yes, they do. I don't have to look. I know my baby father. That's his daughter. You sent Jonathan a picture of baby, didn't you? Yeah. The back and tore it up in the mail and sent it right back to me. Tore it up. So he hasn't done anything for two nothing. years. Nothing. He haven't bought my baby nothing. I hope he came to the show with some pampers or something, some clothes. Something. This is what Jonathan wanted to say. Watch this. Jalisa, girl, you know I ain't your baby's father. I ain't find out you was pregnant until after your baby was born. You might be able to fool everybody else with those fake ass tears, but you can't fool me. I know you're creeping behind my back when we were together. Jalisa, you crazy and everybody else know you crazy. I don't care that I ain't never seen your baby. You sent the picture to me, I looked at it, ripped it up, and sent it back to your dumb ass. Jalisa, I'm not for your game. This isn't a free ride, and I can't wait till you swallow your words when Maury say, Jonathan, you are not the father. Can you bring him out, Maury, please? Okay, I'm gonna bring him out. Here he is, Jonathan, all right? You think that baby bitch, looks like you, Jonathan? No. I bet this you that. Look, you just because she's she dark skin, she mean, that means she my baby? Jonathan, this is your... You can say... You can I ain't say it. with you. You wanted me to say that baby look like you somebody. You wanted me to hang up. You can say that baby look like somebody. I did. I stopped going to talk to you, honey. Because you wanted me to hang up, baby. Not my baby. Nobody's trying to hear all that, man. Jonathan, did you ever say to her that we? I'd like to have a baby with you? Yes, you did. But look, look how it turned out. After look, she have she get pregnant. And now let me ask she, you this: she If she had told you early on that she was pregnant, do you think it'd have been something different? It would have. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then you guess what? There's I only can't one. Wait these results, because uh, if this is your, all right, I can't need wait neither. We need Robert to meet you and your raggedy ass family. All that's right, that's it. Do. Jonathan, you have two other kids. Yeah. You take care of them. Actually, yeah. he got five well, see, kids. Mom. He got five kids. He don't claim but two. That's how many she want me to have. She trying to put her as a Why'd on the you list. rip that picture up? Because it ain't my what I want to picture somebody okay, else. Okay, we're gonna before. find out whether it's yours right now. <laughs> when it comes to two-year-old Giovanna, Jonathan, you are the father. <laughs> Jonathan, you want to take care of that child, you told me. 
You said you'd take it's care of that okay, child. Marcus, yeah, I'll take, take care of the baby. When we okay. leave, she's leaving with him. You're going to take care or of her. Or not take care of mine. I ain't worried about that. Yep, you sure yeah. I ain't worried sure. about you that. Thank you very much. Keep your word. Appreciate it. We received a mystery phone call that turned this story completely upside down. Oh, my God. <gasps> and this man is here because two women say that he fathered all four of their children. Four? No way. Is Greg the father of all four? <laughs> All right, everybody, I want you to take a look at this man, Greg. You are not going to forget him. At 21 years old, Greg is here to find out if he has four children by two women. Oh. By the way, all four kids are under the age of two. Two, two women, four kids, one guy. Now, both women have agreed to take DNA tests and to appear on the show, but they can't come at the same time because they hate each other. Watch. I'm here today to prove to Greg that my two beautiful daughters, one-year-old Genesis and three-month-old Khalees, are his daughters. When I met Greg, I instantly fell in love with him, and I thought we'd be together forever. I should have stayed away from Greg when I found out one month into our relationship that his ex-girlfriend Christy was pregnant, but he swore to me it wasn't his child. I found out he was living a double life and going back and forth between the two of us, getting us pregnant and denying both our children. It's really hard struggling with my girls not having a dad in their life. What makes it even worse is when he calls me and accuses me of sleeping around. I don't know if he's the father of Christy's kids and I don't care if he is. I just want him to take care of mine. So, you should have never gotten together with Greg. But you did. And that's not just one mistake, two mistakes. Now, Roxanne, you are not the first person to appear on the show when a, a guy denies your child, and then you all lay, lay up together and you got another child coming. Why would you do that? Because I didn't think there was anything wrong with them. I just... I just loved him so much that... Even though he denied your child? Mm-hmm. Did he I ever, just, come, did he ever just, come around to, to saying that it was his child? No. He and never accepted your oldest child? No. Never accepted your youngest child? And no, and he still doesn't. Did you know your girlfriend pregnant, too? He told me when I was already pregnant about her being pregnant as well. Y'all don't like each other? No. He had to be going back and forth. Is that the way it was? That's exactly the way that it was. And he was probably telling both of you all the same thing. I know that he was. He was telling you, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be with her. And I'm sure when I have her on, she's going to tell me the same story. Mm -hmm. You see in a Here's what Greg had to say about being the father of your kids. Yo, when I met Roxanne, everything was the best thing I could ever imagine or picture in my world. But after a while, when I got to see her true colors, that's when I realized this wasn't the woman for me, man. She's nothing but a lying, manipulative hoe. When Roxanne told me I was the father, I knew it wasn't mine, but I still stuck by her side. Because I ain't trying to be the deadbeat dad that I had in my life. People randomly coming up to me, telling me these kids don't look like me, they're not my babies, Roxanne sleeping around my back. She always denies it. But today, the truth will finally come out. There's no way I could be the father of the four kids at 21 years old. There's just no way I could produce that many kids. I know that Khalees and Genesis ain't mine. And after this DNA results come in, Roxanne, you already know what to do. This poof, Van Moose, leave me alone, it's over. Here's Greg. Greg, come on out. Greg, think about this. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? When I first met Roxanne, I met her off a chat line. You know what I'm saying? And I the same night. The same night. So how, if I the same night, why when I ain't around, really? another dude ain't going at the same time. Really? You know what I'm saying? Really? So come on now, you 
kid, you can't expect this. me to, to not believe that they're not all my kids. That's you know? how you want to. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with meeting you nobody think, on the channel. Roxanne like, is using her kids to trap you? Of course. Why not? Because if I tell you, can I do this with family right now? Like, I need to keep you in my telling me that I can't because yeah. I want to be with another woman. Like, can you be serious? I want to be a dad that I never Don't was. you think they look like you, those kids? Don't you think those kids look like you? I don't look. think those kids look. look like me. They can have the same ears, eyes, hair, and that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. You're 21 years old, and there are four kids here that could be yours. That could be mine. You could, you're really yeah. growing up fast, aren't you? Are you going to take care of these kids? He's actually going back. I'm waiting forward. on the results. If they are mine, you yeah. you're damn right. I'm going to take care of these kids. Because I never have a father. And I'm going to be the father, the best father that I can be in this world. Well, we're out right now. We're going to hold you to the promise. In the case of one-year-old Genesis, you are the father. In the case of my old Kellis, Greg, you are the father. Is this what all the pain you caused me? Right. Right. Is it what all the pain you caused me? Right. I want to Can you can you calm down right quick? Can you calm down right quick? Can you sit down please? Can you sit down please? Can I yes. talk to her? Sir? I know within these two years, I put you through a lot. You know, I've always been denying the girls. i always calling you names, telling you all these things. But you already know, deep down in my heart, I, I am going to be the father that I can be for these girls right here. I'm going to provide for your girls. I'm going to be there every day with visitations and everything. Guess what? You know what we love to do the show, Greg? We love to do updates. So in about six months, I'd love to find out what I've been doing. you held up to your promise. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet Christy, the other woman who claims that she has two kids by Greg. We'll be right back. Two down and two to go. Is Greg the father of all four? Diapers, wipes, formula, rent. So a few minutes ago, we met this man, Greg who came to the show to find out if at 21 years old, he was going to be the father of four kids. Oh. Two of them by two different women, Roxanne and Christy. So we just taped Roxanne's segment and proved that Greg was the father of both of her kids. Yeah. Now everybody, welcome Christy to the show. Because Christy has a very similar story to Roxanne. Watch. Like Roxanne, I'm going to prove to Greg that he's the father of my one-year-old son, Isaiah, and my three-week-old daughter, Angelus. When I found out that he was going back and forth with me and Roxanne, I should have left him. I was upset. And I believed him when he said he loved me and he cared for my kids and that he's going to be there for my kids. He's an idiot for saying he's too young to be a father. I'm 20 years old and I have two kids and I have to take care of my kids every single day. I don't have that choice to be like, they're not mine. When he accuses me of sleeping around, I think he's stupid because I know my kids are his. Maybe Roxanne was sleeping around, but I definitely wasn't doing anything like that. Did you know about Roxanne? Not through my pregnancy, no. Not in your pregnancy? No. Not until after my son was three weeks old. Did he deny your first child? He didn't, yeah. Then why would you have a second child? I was in love with him, and it just... It... Are you still in love with him, Christy? Yes, I am. You are. You think he's in love with you? Probably not. One of the reasons why he says he can't be the father is he says it's, Im he says it's impossible for him to have four kids at the age of 21. I'm 20 years old. I have two kids, and I don't have the choice to say that my kids aren't mine today when I'm upset with him. Well, we've got Greg backstage, okay? I mean, this is what he had to say. Watch. Last time, I was proven to be the father, but today, I know we've proven not to be the father of Christy's kids. She must have been thinking of me when she was with another man. I wasn't even in the same time when she got pregnant. I know for a fact Christy was sleeping around behind my back. Some of them were even my friends. I'm only 21 years old. I know I can't have four kids. 
Two, maybe. But four, no way. When the DNA test proves that I'm not the father, Christy, go ahead and search around the block for Tim, Joe, Larry, John, and see if they the father of your babies. Greg, come on out. Yeah, them kids, your kids ain't mine. My the kids, kids don't even yours. look like me. Roxanne wants to be with you. Christy wants to be with you. Who do you want to be with? To tell you the truth, honestly, I don't want to be with none of them. Oh! I just want to be there for the kids. If, the ki if all kids are mine, I want to be the father to all the kids. Why don't we just find them? <laughs> In the case of one-year-old Isaiah, Greg, you are the father. In the case of three-week-old Angelise, Greg, you are the father. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get out of here. Oh, man. Damn, bitch. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. I ask you to take care of all four of these kids and put a cap on it. Of course, always. Right out. The mystery phone call is revealed next. Oh my God. Diaper, white, formula, rent. Earlier, the DNA results proved that John was not the father of Rhonda's daughter. This shocked everyone, especially John's mother, Rosalind. But as soon as the results were read, our producers received a phone call that turned this story completely upside down. This is the first time this has ever happened on The Maury Show. While Rhonda was on set taping her segment, a man called in who claimed to be the father of Rhonda's daughter. And we asked her if she wanted us to contact this man to give him a paternity test. At that point, she said no. We wish Rhonda the best of luck. Today on Maury, this man is here because not just one woman, not just two women, but three women are all claiming he's the father of their baby. He asked all of you to have a child with him. Yes. One man literally trapped in by three women. Let's go. One, two, three. Three babies, three DNA tests, and only one man. Steven. 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 All three results are coming up. Crystal finally agreed to have sex with her high school sweetheart and then was dumped the next day. He used you. Yes, he did. And it hurts. Now her baby is denied by Ryan and his mother. We don't even know. Yeah. It's a DNA test for the ages. Is Ryan the father? Ryan. <laughs> All of those results and so much more. John caught the mother of his children and his best friend in a compromising position. Now this family has been torn completely apart. Where do you and the kids sleep? We sleep in our car. Look at that! And these two former best friends are taking two DNA tests. John Terry. John Terry. <laughs> All of this unbelievable drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Dara Shea. Welcome, Dara Shea. To the show. And everyone, this is Siobhan. Welcome, Siobhan. To the show. And everybody, this is Shamir. Welcome, Shamir. To the show. These three women have two things in common. They are mothers and they are victims. Oh. 
They are victims of this man Stephen's scandalous ways. <laughs> these women, this is what Stephen does. He meets women. Then he begs them to have his child. And then moves on to the next woman. So, according to them, they all got pregnant by Stephen, who is now denying 10-month-old Kiwan, one-and-a-half-year-old Jeterius, and three-month-old Genesis. Now, the women are here to end the games. Right here. Derisha, Siobhan, and Shamir are three women on a mission to prove that a man named Stephen is the father of all three of their children. When I first found out I was pregnant, Stephen was excited. And for the first five months of my pregnancy, he was there. Then he left me for another woman. Stephen told me that he wanted me to have his baby, and he was trying to get me pregnant. That little punk Stephen proposed to me and told me he wanted to be a family. Once I got pregnant with our child, he left me to go be with another woman he got pregnant. Bouncing from city to city between his pregnant girlfriends, Stephen has given these women nothing but broken promises. When I gave birth to my son, Kiwan, Stephen came back into our lives. That only lasted a short seven months, because then he left to go be at the birth of Shamir's child. Stephen came for the birth of Genesis and only stayed a week and hasn't done anything for him since. I finally reached Stephen when my son, Jeterius, was born, and he told me we lived too far and couldn't come and see him. My son has never met his father. Stephen, you can run, but you can't hide from your army loaded children anymore. Now, Stephen's backstage. And guess who is also here? His current girlfriend, Tasha. By the way, also has a child with Stephen. <laughs> he asked all of you to have a child with him. Yes, Maury. Yes. Anything he got ben, community with me, he can go to me, go to her, go to her, back to me. Now he with her. Then who he'll be with next? And he'll be with somebody else out here now. Let's get this straight. What is that all about? He don't want to wear no condom because it'll win his nationwide. We all, oh, I want to marry you. We can be a family together. Not only that, we're not the only baby mamas that he has. There's too many mamas. Of them. Really? Everyone, he wants did he, to did he tell you he wanted to marry? He sure did. And he sure asked did? me to marry him. He sure did. Bought me a ring and asked me to marry Valentine's Day last year. That was like. <laughs> that was like. All right. So apparently there's a word that uh, Stephen doesn't think is in the English language. Condoms. <laughs> Away. That's oh, what really? Yeah, that's what it is. How about the feeling of a child who he's abandoned? Wait a wait a second. <laughs> Tasha, has he abandoned your baby? No. She ain't got nothing to say. Saying is Tasha, he may have gotten them pregnant and left them, but he's not going to leave you. Right? Marty, Marty, me and Stephen, me and Stephen been going, me and Stephen go at this five, been going at this for five years. And she got it. Here's what everybody should know. Here's what everybody should know. Until now, the three of you didn't know each other. No. No. So I assume you haven't seen each other's babies. No, I've seen, no, I've seen their babies. Today. I've seen, I've seen well, their babies before. Here, here we go. Darashay. 
Is that your child on top there, Shane? That's my baby, he won. You think that he looks like, or? or that is his twin. Oh! He wanted him to be Steven Jr., but it wasn't happening. His name is Kiwan. He wanted everybody to be Steven Jr. Right. And was Dava, because nobody right, named Siobhan, they Steven. Let's take a look at your child and Steven. You think they look alike? Oh, my God. You don't look at their heads. Look at their heads. <laughs> Shamir, let's take a look at your child. I'm gonna say it like this more. You got to be an idiot not to know they related. Uh, not to know they related. You got to be an idiot, baby. An idiot. Now, has he done anything for any of your kids? Nothing. No, he nothing. bought my baby a $40 box of Pampers. Oh. I ain't got no Pampers. In the three and a half years that we've been together on and off, he bought my baby a $40 box of Pampers. Well, let me ask you this. Say you're not in love with him. If he no. wanted to be with you now, would you be he with him? He just asked to come back yeah. home. He just left me you in January. Yeah. 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 silver-tongued devil. Here he is, Steven. This is what he had to say. I traveled around a lot, met a lot of women, and I got a lot of problems. I got three crazy women from three different cities, and they tell me that their babies are mine. The only woman I care about is my girlfriend, Tasha. She a good woman, better than the mother hoes. All these girls think they the real Mrs. McKeithen, but I'm his number one. Their show is always out partying with guys and being secretive with her phone. So I definitely don't think that baby is mine. Siobhan was also out lying about where she was. I even see her in the car with different guys. As for Shamir, I know for a fact she was sleeping with my friend. Shamir is a bald-headed wannabe McKeithen, and that baby is too damn dark to be Steven's child. They're using that baby to trap me? It won't work. We'll find out. Here he is, Steven. kids do you have? Supposed to be seven, but only know about two. Only two mine. Only two mine, God damn it. Only two mine. None of these three are yours. Hell no. Why not? Why not? Look at him, Murray. You look, think, man, you, Murray, look, man. Yeah, yeah, what, Murray. Yeah, what? What, 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 what is that? Man, Murray, this forehead ain't mine. That's yours. That's not mine. That's yours. Look at them ears, man. Look at them ears. Look at them ears. Look at them ears. Look at them ears. What all these women say is, you romance them, you sleep with them, and then you ask them to have babies and with you. And what men in their right mind gonna ask, some, ask a woman to have their baby? Not really? me. Really? really? Not really? me. Would you stay around really? so long for what? it? Would you stay around really? so long for it? Yeah, because yeah. you don't like my swag. Oh, you don't like my swag. Why don't you use protection? Man, Murray, at the time, it was just the heat of the moment. You what? know? Heat of the moment. They weren't there. Heat, the heat of the moment. moment. Heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. Murray, they ain't worried about If they weren't about cops, they would have had them. They want, that, these, that they want heat the baby, the Murray. By the way, Stephen, that heat of the moment, that can lead to a long-term responsibility. You know that? <laughs> Responsible with Tasha's kids? You of take course. care. You take care, I of, take care of my daughter. If we prove that you're the father of these kids, you'll take care of these kids. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Oh, I'll take care of them. If they're mine. If they're mine. Yeah. Take care of them. Yeah. Take care of them. Take care of
a three-month-old Genesis, Stephen. When it comes to one-year-old Jeteria, Stephen. When it comes to 10-month-old Kiwan, Stephen. One man literally trapped in by three women. Let's go! One, two, three! Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Steven. All three results are coming up. Tony doesn't believe he's the father of Shannon's two children for one reason. They don't have his feet. Yeah. I can play video games with my feet. These kids don't have my feet. His new girlfriend is just adding fuel to this fiery situation. Oh, wait, it's not so he says it's about the two feet. I know oh, you don't want to hear about the feet. My kids got my feet. But what will it be about after the two DNA results? Tony. <laughs> One man literally trapped in by three women. One, two, three. Is Stephen the father? Everyone, this is Shannon. Welcome, Shannon, to the show. Now, one year ago, Shannon made the horrifying discovery that her boyfriend of four years, Tony, was using his job at a fast food restaurant to have sex with other women. Now, you see, you know, that may be bad enough, but Shannon and Tony have two children together. Three-year-old Thomas, two-year-old Justice. After she found out that he was cheating, Shannon kicked Tony out. But Tony is now living with his new girlfriend, Tina. And they both deny Shannon's two sons. And the main reason that Tony gives for denying these kids is that they don't have his feet. Right. I know these kids ain't mine. They don't even got my feet. Let me tell you something about my feet that these kids don't have. I got a real short, stubby big toe, and I got long, finger-like toes. I can play video games with my feet. These kids don't have my feet. It doesn't fit the picture. Tony and I have a family, and I am not going to let Shannon ruin it with her lies. I know for sure Tony's the father of my baby. I don't need a DNA test for this baby, because Shannon's the love of my life. And Shannon, you was just a mistake. Shannon is a nasty slut. I am glad that Tony is finally seeing it. When the DNA test comes back that shows these kids ain't mine, I'm going to focus on what's really important, my life with Shannon. I don't know why this girl is here. My kids don't concern her. She should be home taking care of the baby. They got two kids. I can't hear what she's saying. You're the son, Shannon. <laughs> Why don't you get your baby tested? Oh, I don't need baby you. Tested. By the way, I don't Shannon. Need to get my baby tested. Don't my you, baby you, got his feet home. Don't you claim that? Tony cheated on her with you? Yes, he yeah, did. Right, yes, bitch. he did. More than and once. And guess what? We just happen to take a lie detector test to find that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to get back to this big issue about the feet. <laughs> look, look. Yes, OK. You see this? You see this? This Wait a toe second. Is this guy can play. This toe, not so exactly like his, but he's got the feet. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the feet. <laughs> Do you see that? I mean, can you see that? That is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Think. I blame most of it on Shana. He never denied the kids. I mean, he had his doubts about Thomas, but he never denied my kids till he got with that girl. If you wasn't such a slut, he wouldn't he deny her. You think the kids favor him? Yes, I do. Look at Tom Tom. Justice. Tom, Tom Tom's on the left? Yeah. Look at this. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Look at that. Why do I, I have a, why do I have a feeling? I just have a I have a feeling, Shannon, that you still have feelings for Tony. I will always love Tony, but I am not in love with Tony. I could never I could never be with somebody that will treat their kids the way he does. Your kids should be your first priority in life.
why you should be your king. Yeah. So be your king. All right. Your children. Here they are, Tony and Shayna. Here they are. You're caught in the middle here. I feel that I'm caught in the middle often. I mean, the, my biggest concern right now is that is not her natural hair color. Her natural hair color this right is. Here? It, it, this right here. She, she dyes her hair. She dyes her she hair. She dyes it. That dye my hair. And JJ's got red hair oh, on the. I mean, it's, 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 it's strawberry blonde. blonde in, in the light. You want to go get the hair? And dresses? JJ's feet don't look nothing like mine. I know oh, you don't want to hear about the feet. this right now, this lie detector. We asked you while Tony was in a relationship with Shayna, has he ever tried, tried to have sexual intercourse with you? You said yes, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, Shannon, while Tony was in a relationship with Shayna, have you ever had sexual intercourse with him? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. That is. Look, look, hold on, y'all. Look, look. She don't even hear. know the date that me and her got together. Forget no. about that. I'm more interested in these kids. That's what I'm here for. I mean, that's what I came here for. Really? Tony. Really? Tony. You love those kids. Yeah, I love them. I kids. read where you want to be these kids. I do want to be their dad, but it breaks my heart because her hair, that's not her natural hair color. This? This? You want to go get the hair dresser? In the case of three-year-old Thomas. That's Thomas. Oh. Tony, you are the father. Oh. Oh. I know who my baby daddy is. In the case of two-year-old Justice, Tony, you are the father. I know you'll take care of it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. John caught the mother of his children and his best friend in a compromising position. Now this family has been torn completely apart. Where do you and the kids sleep? We sleep in our car. Look at them! And these two former best friends are taking two DNA tests. You know she's living out of a car. That's not my fault. It is your fault! It's not your fault! And the shocking results are in. John Terry. John Terry. <laughs> One man literally trapped in by three women One, two, three. is Stephen, the father. Everyone, this is Leisha. Welcome, Leisha, to the show. Leisha felt she had the perfect family with her boyfriend, John, their two children. Aww. Look at those two kids. Look at my babies. They ain't gonna do this to us. Okay. Look at them. Shh. One day, John <coughs> caught Leisha and his best friend, Terry, coming out of the bathroom together. Oh, sorry, ass bastard. Can't and it was ass. at that very moment that John accused Leisha of cheating on him, broke up with her, walked out of the house, and said he wasn't the father of their kids. <laughs> Where do you and the kids sleep? I sleep in our car. <laughs> I gotta sleep in the car with two little babies and his ass don't <laughs> Wait at Maury! Wait at Maury! Truck of my car! All right, 
Alicia, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Have you ever cheated on him? I ain't never cheated on him. After the four years we've been together, never ever never. cheated on him. <laughs> Took a lie detector. Yes, I did to prove him okay. that I love him and I want to be with him. All right. Now, <laughs> so what you want to do is prove to him: A, those are his kids; B, you didn't do anything. Exactly. And against you gonna him. step up to the plate and today, you want... and you gonna claim your day. You gonna claim the day. Today is the day you gonna claim it. John had to say, Why? Our relationship with Leisha at one point was fantastic. I was so happy with our two kids and our family, it was perfect. Then I found Leisha and my friend Terry coming out of the bathroom together. How can she do that to me with my best friend? Leisha denies having sex with Terry, but why was he always at our house? Looking back, I think there was always something fishy. Now, I don't believe those kids are mine, and it really hurts. I want nothing to do with Leisha, Terry, or the kids until the test proves me wrong. Okay, here's your ex-boyfriend, John. John, come on out. Falling on hard times. You know she's living out of a car. That's not my fault. It is your fault! It's not your fault! Your two boys got sleeping in. Here's Terry. Let's take a look at Terry, see what he has to say, everybody. Hi, Terry, how are you? What's going on with John? I don't know. I, you don't know? It's crazy. Is he it crazy? Sleeping, yeah. He's yeah. crazy? In my he bathroom. I'm sleeping with his girl. In my bathroom. Right. 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 You must be What's your name? 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 We could be, you know, I ain't sleeping with your girl. What were you doing in the bathroom? Just helping her? Yeah, I was just helping her. That's okay, how guess what? We're going to have the DNA results right now. We got the DNA results. We have the lie detector results. Here's the DNA results. In the case of one-year-old John, Terry, you are not. <laughs> of one-year-old John. John, you are the father. In the case of five-month-old Javon, Terry, you are not the father. In the case of five-month-old Javon, John, you are the father. Test. We asked you when John saw you coming out of the bathroom with Terry. Were you having sexual contact with Terry? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> Have you had any sexual contact with Terry? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you during your relationship with John. Have you had any sexual contact? with any other man other than John. You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro.
Crystal finally agreed to have sex with her high school sweetheart and then was dumped the next day. He used to. Yes, he did. And it hurts. Now her baby is denied by Ryan and his mother. We don't even know. It's a DNA test for the ages. Is Ryan the father? Ryan. One man literally trapped in by three women. Steven, Steven, Steven. All three results are coming up. One man literally trapped in by three women. Is Steven the father? Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal. When Crystal met Ryan, they were just kids, but she instantly fell in love. Crystal says for five years, Ryan begged her to have sex with him. Five years. She said she wasn't ready. Then finally, after five years, Crystal gave in. And guess what? The next day, Ryan turned his back on her. And of course, the shocking outcome of that night of passion is not only did Crystal get pregnant with her now five-month-old son, Cameron. Look at that. Look at that smile. Ryan and his mother, Kathy, completely denied that Ryan's the I am sick and tired of having to convince Ryan and his mother that he is the father. Ryan and I were teenage sweethearts. As soon as our relationship became sexual, everything changed. When I told Ryan that I was pregnant, Ryan looked confused. But his mother, Kathy, couldn't shut up about saying that Ryan wasn't the father of my child. His mother is a low wife who lets him run away from his responsibilities. And after today, I won't have anything to prove. There you go. After all of this, trying to come on to you and everything else and be your boyfriend, you say he used you. Yes, he did. And it hurts. And you had sex Saw twice and he turned his back? No, you not We don't even know. We don't even see you for five years. You don't even see me for five years. You don't even you see me for five years. Do you love Ryan now? No, I do not. <laughs> Here's Ryan and his mother, Kathy. Here they are. Crystal, sit down here. We kept changing the due dates. You said the doctors kept changing the due dates. They don't because do that. Because my doctor sucked at being a doctor. That's oh, why God. I changed. Here we go. 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 Now, wait a second. You think you're the father of that child? No. You think he's the father of that child? Sit down, sit down. I when you call my house, you ask for my mother. You talk to her on about coming, but you never once asked me you know to go why? on the phone. You know why? Because she thinks your mother manipulates you, tells you everything to do. I want the story I told. You were childhood sweethearts. Yes. She wouldn't have sex for you for years. Then Man. all of a sudden she has sex two times, you leave. It happened once and we weren't even sweethearts. We did it. Did you it. Did you you did it. I don't you even know, know you. You said that you loved me. Kathy, you don't it even know her? Five you years you know played. We had no contact for five years. 
Christmas. No. What's the story about the big toe? Let me hear about this. All Every the boys on yes. the father's side of the family all yes. have an extra big toe. An extra big toe. Yeah, extra I know big. it's a little bigger than normal. Yes. Oh, it's bigger than normal. Yeah. It's not and normal. that baby's toe isn't big. No. No. Well, guess what? We're going to find that out. I would say what? that if this is your grandchild, you'd be in that child's life, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, yes, like I am my and other you, grandchild. And you would too, Ryan, right? Yes, okay. I will accept it. But you don't have any feelings for Crystal anymore, right? No. None, no feelings I for Crystal. I don't have any feelings for you either. Well, obviously, that's the only thing you can agree on. Neither one of you have feelings for each other, that's all. In the case of five-month-old Cameron, Ryan. It's a DNA test for the ages. Is Ryan the father? Ryan. <laughs> One man literally trapped in by three women. Let's go! One, two, three. Three babies, three DNA tests, and only one man. Steven, Steven, Steven. All three results are coming up. One man literally trapped in by three women. One, two, three. Is Stephen the father? I am sick and tired of having to convince Ryan and his mother that he is the father. When I told Ryan that I was pregnant, Ryan looked confused. But his mother, Kathy, couldn't shut up about saying that Ryan wasn't the father of my child. His mother is a long wife who lets him run away from his responsibilities. And after today, I won't have anything to prove. You the father of that child? No. You think he's the father of that child? Oh, 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 oh. How can you deny that he has your forehead? What's the story about the big toe? Let me hear about this. All Emily. the boys on yes. the father's side of the family all yes. have an extra big toe. And that baby's toe isn't big? No. no. In the case of five-month-old Cameron, Ryan, you are not. I told you. 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 No, you're not. No, you're not. No. I know. There's no police. I told you. No connection to We'll be glad to help you, Crystal. We'll be glad to find out if you will. We'll be glad to test anybody you want. Okay. He's not the father. Right. Okay. All right. Come on, oh, he's right. And yes. you know it. Well, now she knows the truth. We know the truth. And we don't even have to contact her anymore. One man literally trapped in by three women. Let's go. One, two, three. Three babies, three DNA tests, and only one man. Steven. 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 All three results are next. One man literally trapped in by three women. One, two, three. Is Stephen the father? Darashet, Siobhan, and Shamir are three women on a mission to prove that a man named Stephen is the father of all three of their children. When I first found out I was pregnant, Stephen was excited. And for the first five months of my pregnancy, he was there. Then he left me for another woman. Stephen told me that he wanted me to have his baby and he was trying to get me pregnant. That little punk Stephen proposed to me and told me he wanted to be a family. But once I got pregnant with our child, he left me to go be with another woman. He got pregnant. Stephen, you can run, but you can't hide from your army loaded children anymore. I got three crazy women from three different cities. And they telling me that their babies are mine. They're using their babies to trap me. It won't work.
when it comes to 10-month-old Kiwan, Steven, you are the father. <laughs> The three month old Genesis, Stephen. You, you are, are the father. Leash has proved she never cheated and that John is the father of both of their kids. But can she ever forgive John for letting his family live out of a car? One man literally trapped in by three women is Stephen, the father. Earlier, Leisha came to the show because the love of her life, John, completely abandoned her and their two children. Where do you and the kids sleep? We sleep in our car. Look at that! John believed Leisha was cheating with his best friend, Terry. I found Leisha and my friend Terry coming out of the bathroom together. And that Terry might be the real father of both of their kids. You know she's living out of a car. That's not my fault. It is your fault! The DNA results prove that John is the father of both of Leisha's children. John, you are the father. Oh, I can't believe it. John is to me. And a lie detector test proved that Leisha never cheated on John with Terry or anyone else. <laughs> After the show, could Leisha forgive John for putting her two kids out on the street for no reason? I'm sorry, I was wrong, you know. If, if, if people make you mistakes, know. you know. You never doubt me. I never did nothing to hurt you. People make mistakes. It ain't just, uh, uh, that's what I thought I seen. Like, I'm sorry for even letting you feel like that towards me, for even letting him help me. And it wasn't nothing I told you, but I'm telling you again, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And it won't happen again. <sighs> 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 It looks like this family's going to come back together and we're extremely happy that Leisha will now stop having to live out of her car. We wish everyone the best of luck. Until next time, America. Ooh. <laughs>